welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back once again to a brand new year and a brand new podcast, the Love Unlocked it, Podcast. It is a new year. It is. Episode you? 117 coming Woo. at you. Uh, it is a whole new year since the last podcast. Uh, it is a new day. Uh, we're coming up on, in February, it'll be year three. three. Yeah. Which is crazy to think about. We're getting there soon. Next month. So, yep. Oh, uh, we're getting there. We're driving at three uh, year three of doing this. So, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope everyone had a, new, a good uh, Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. Any uh, thing that you celebrate here? Ramadan. Uh, Ramadan. Happy Christmas Hanukkah. Christmas Hanukkah. Christmas Hanukkah. Christmas Hanukkah. Kwanzaa. Yeah. Appreciate everyone being here. Um, welcome. Uh, so what's up, boys? How was your uh, how holidays. was your New Year's and your holidays in general? Uh, Jet, start with you, man. Ah, it's good. I mean, lots of working. That's about the majority of how it went. Uh, having the whole. I mean, we kind of talked about Black Friday a bit last time we did our thing, so it's more Christmas based this last couple of weeks, and everybody and their mothers getting angry because they waited <laughs> till the last minute. But as per usual, other than that, not a whole lot. Just been uh, playing some good old Deep Rock with most of these guys here to just pass the times, and that's pretty much it. And me and Jeremy have yet to finish uh, Takes Two. It's been <laughs> two, three months that we've been trying to finish this game together, and it's it's uh slowly getting there. Well, yes, we're 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 almost there. Almost, we got to the point where we could do the piano, but that's how far, how far we got. What about you, James? Uh, well, oh shit. I mean, I had a pretty eventful past mm. month, like very eventful. So, yeah, work and shit all that good stuff um i bought myself an xbox series s i was gonna go grab the box but oh, i don't yeah. feel like it i don't feel like it. <laughs> uh so i've been playing a lot of halo a lot of skate 3 all that good shit playing Woo. the certified bangers uh, i was playing oh, some yeah. madden today madden 21 whatever is free on game pass 21 21 what's not plus 10 21 um been playing a lot of shitty PS3 and 360 games. Oh, yeah. um, what 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 is it? Is it just like for sh- the streaming aspect that you're just like, all right, guys, I'm only gonna play terrible PS3 and Xbox no. 360 games that crash often. That crash all the goddamn time. <laughs> yes. Uh, no, it's just something I, I just wanted to do. I just felt like doing That's that. Fair. I was like, I haven't I haven't ingested my yearly intake <laughs> of just garbage. Yeah. That's yet fair. so i have to hit that quota okay. um okay, been somewhat streaming pokemon uh shining pearl um yakuza or lost judgment and um tales of the arise tales of arise uh those are still all great games uh having a blast with all of them um i had a birthday yeah, that's yes, you did. Yeah, hey. uh, I I had a birthday. Um, I got way too fucking drunk. How was it? <laughs> How was the? Uh, you went to a D- you, DJ too, where people donated to you. <laughs> that yeah. was the day after. Yeah. Um, How was that? That was fun. Uh, didn't really get that drunk. Um, so I went to a bar that's like two blocks up the road from me. So I just walked there, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, and then walked home. So I didn't stumble at all. I was completely fine. Did um, how many people donated to the fund? Yeah, a few. A few <laughs> people. <laughs> like I said, I, I I ended the day with like uh the like four. It was like thirteen or fourteen dollars. I can't remember. But then I just gave that to the gave that to the bartender. I was like, here you go. You deserve it for today. You talking about gatherings? No, uh, Irish cousins. I know Mike. Get... Mike Zach invited me to gatherings as I was walking to Irish cousins. I'm like, oh, I can't. <laughs> Although my ear did get made uh, as I was walking, uh, I just see something at the corner of my eye just rustling around, and 
I'm like, the fuck is that? And I look over and it's a doggo. It's a husky. And I just look at it. I'm like, oh. And then I see the owner and I'm like, oh my God, that's such a beautiful dog. Can I pet it? And she goes, yeah, of course. The dog's just like jumping up all over me and stuff. And I'm like, this just made my year. (laughs) It's right here. (laughs) It's the best best part of my year right here. Can't be beat. Um, what else have I been doing? Uh, damn, there's just so much that like I haven't been doing, and so much that I have been doing, and it's been kind of mixing up. Um, did, understood. Did I go <laughs> last podcast? Did I talk about my trip to one the original one fifty one, or was that in December that I did that? I think it was in December. I think it was. Yeah, I, was gonna say, I don't remember what <laughs> podcast. All right. So, there's this place Ow. out in bumfuck nowhere, Ohio. It's right. about a little bit past. It's west of Columbus. Sure. So, it was like a five hour drive. Me and my buddy Brandon yeah. went. Just so, I. Ah, oh shit. I have it in the car still. Um, I got some really cool stuff. From there, I spent way too much money, but I got some really cool stuff. It's a store, so it's a it's a store in a mall. It's in the Beaver Creek Mall in Beaver or uh, Beaver Creek, Ohio. And this store is wall to wall just Pokemon stuff. <laughs> nice. And Looks at the fun. time, it was the only place that I think I've seen all year that actually had Pokemon cards readily available in stock and not at a premium not at scalper price like they had that's still kind of sometimes they don't um but yeah i i we went in there and they had like an entire end cap filled with just blister packs of the fusion strike set which was the newest set at the time uh behind the counter they had booster boxes Elite trainer boxes just stacked high. It was great. Oh, jeez. I was <laughs> in heaven. And then all across the place was just a bunch of plushies. I got a really cool, and I'll have to dig it out. Um, it's Pikachu, but dressed as one of the ghosts of Christmas past. Or get, dressed as a ghost of Christmas past. Oh, so <laughs> high quality. Good. I love it. So I picked up that. I picked up a, a booster box of cards and then a Mew and an Eevee model kit. Hey, not too bad. Nice. And did yeah. you just accidentally roll across this? No. So my one buddy found out about it on Facebook and he just texted me one day. He's like, yo, what are you doing? Whatever day it was that we were going to go. Uh, he texted me like a few days in advance. And we were both off, and I'm like, nothing. He goes, yo, you want to go out to, do you want to take a five-hour drive to Beaver Creek, Ohio? And I'm like, sure, bet. What are we going for? <laughs> it's a Pokemon store. I'm like, in, yeah, you had me at Pokemon. I mean, you had me. <laughs> Hell yeah. Me I have nothing fans. better going on. <laughs> we we left around, yeah, we we were probably on the road total about 11, 12 hours. No, jeez. We were in that mall for probably about two. That's all we went. We went there and back. That's it. It's a long day. Yeah, but at least you did it. Yeah. You can say you did it, right? Oh, yeah. I, uh, we're already planning a trip back. <laughs> there, so... So obvious it was worth it. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I'll post more pictures the next time, uh, next time I go. Because I only took, like, two pictures of inside the place. Like, one of just a <laughs> wall of plushes, and then another is just the storefront and it was great thanks uh to the secret santa uh my buddy's house mark graciously yeah. <laughs> gave me a <laughs> Throw that dwayne shit. The, dwayne the rock johnson it's in my yeah, car you need to, yeah you need that <sighs> it's in my car i use i bring it into mark, work do you have yours mark has his yeah, mine's, mine's right here <laughs> nice. yeah this is a bad one it had the scene this is the one i was originally going to give you so I'm glad that it didn't happen the week that I thought it was going to happen. So yeah. I can make a one that's actually better. But yeah, uh, definitely a fan. <laughs> it's so fucking, fucking cool. It, was it took 23 hours. <laughs> Jeez, so nuts. 
You do have actually a funny video that reminds me of that that I need to show you, Jeremy. That is uh, to do with three. It's partly from Mark to the three D printed rock stuff. There's like a whole video <laughs> of it. Three D printed rock Crocs. Yeah, there, yeah. There was that I know. Uh, I know a YouTuber um, made a video of like all of the rock props or rock things that he could find. Hell yeah! <laughs> so yeah, there was like a was rock cool, yeah. geo dude. So it was like oh. a rock dude. <laughs> Uh, it was just the arms of Geodude with the rock's face. It was great. I love That's it. Awesome. I love it. <laughs> yes. Um, I'll definitely have to show it to y'all. Trying to think of anything else I did other than get fucking wasted. Um, yeah, that's about it. Uh, hey, Walker, why don't you go? You always go last. Um, why don't you go third? <coughs> Sorry, I mean to cough in your again. <laughs> um... Well, I had a pretty productive Christmas. I got one of these bad boys. Ooh, how now? Awesome. How many? How many times have you used it since? Uh, I know uh, you used it the bit, once. Actually. Oh, okay, good. Um, been playing the shit out of Beat Saber. Not really what shit out of Beat Saber, but I, mean, I played it a handful of times. My son loves it. Um, <laughs> fucking. Isn't he a bit too kid. young? Yeah, but he's got a big head, so his head fits. <laughs> That's not the point. That's <laughs> fine. Um, but Vince uh, is gonna have cataracts at the age of thirteen. Fine. But uh, he likes it. I've been playing it, fucking beating the shit out of uh, some dudes. That was fun. Um, I've been playing uh, fishing. It's just so funny sitting there. <laughs> My wife was like, "Why don't you actually go out and fish for real?" I was like, "This That's is more." I was like, this is yeah. more fun. Yeah, it takes Just too long. It costs way less money. It costs way less money. Yeah, where and the fuck I are you actually... going to fish in a desert? There's actually quite a bit of places to fish out here. Yeah, it's all they're all man-made they have a bunch places. of lakes. Yeah, yeah, man-made. That's not that's not natural. Yeah, it's not the yeah, same. Didn't say it was natural fishing. We just said it's fish. not the same. <laughs> You're not necessarily wrong. Hey, but... why don't you go? Sw- why don't you go? Uh, jump off a creek. Oh, wait, you can't because they don't have any there. It's true. That's actually not true. Up north, we have it. <laughs> yeah. The Grand Canyon area. Yeah. Yeah, the, yeah, the Colorado <laughs> Riddle going to the Grand Canyon. Just do it there. Say that again? Um, what? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, the, Excuse me. The, the Colorado River. There you go. Got it. Colorado <laughs> Royal Rumble. <laughs> the Colorado yeah, Royal me. Rumble. I yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's right in the um, middle. Just uh... I got a crossbow. That's right. Yeah. Oh, that that compound bow? Yeah, you have a compound, compound bow. bow. Compound Jeez. bow, not a crossbow. <laughs> you were just. You dude, fucking built you it and you, fucking, you fucked it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You done fucked it up. Um, what else did I get? I don't even know. I got a new wallet. I got a watch. I got these amazing glasses that you're seeing on my face. Yeah. Good that were John over here. Um, it was a good time. Kids had a great time. I had a great time. It's been raining here actually. Uh, oh, it was snowing actually. Quite a bit. Uh, in the mountain here, it's actually um covered in snow. Yeah, wow. there's a blizzard up there. Uh, which is crazy to think about because we're looking up at it. It's like right. it seems like it's so far away, but it's really not. And there's just like, two different environments coming from one Gotta to the love other. Elevation. Yep. A lot of it too, but um, yeah. This is my uh, son's new computer. Bam! High technology, right there. Yeah. Hey. That's that Minecraft Geo. Yeah, as I was say, that's yeah, that's a Geo book. Minecraft. So, so how yeah. well does it run Minecraft? Not bad, actually. It's not horrible. The so fact it's... that you have to say not that bad for a game that is one of the easiest to run in the world that can run off of, like, five-year-old smartphones. This, this is bad. But funny. Um, It's funny because... So it comes with all this free stuff for Minecraft. So it comes with the game, obviously. <laughs> then it comes with... That would be hilarious um, if it didn't. Yeah, that would be the funniest um, shit ever. Do a Nintendo... That would be so much. Give you a special edition console, but don't include the don't game, game, fuckers. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. 
Um, Mark's a little get... salty. Did it, uh, did they hurt you? Did you? Hurt yeah, my you? my fucking Super Smash Brothers 3DS. I was so hyped to get it. Got the fancy console, <laughs> yeah, pulled out it out, like... and I was just like, I need to buy the game. It's sixty bucks. It came out yep. like two Fuck. months before <laughs> the game came out. That was the stupidest shit. I was so disappointed. Hey, at least they included the <laughs> Mario Kart bundle they did. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> the one that they resold every single year. Yeah. It's it's the only one that comes out during the holidays. It's, it's fine. <laughs> so they don't tell you. So this comes with obviously Minecraft, but then you get like 800 mine coins. You get skin packs. You get the Minecraft launcher my with a bunch of other actually. stuff. But when you go to download it, it doesn't actually download, so I'm sitting there like, why isn't this shit downloading? I have Minecraft, but it's not downloading the the coins, it's not downloading the Minecraft launcher, it's not downloading the skin packs. I'm like, okay, this is fucking weird. So the computer comes in Windows S mode. <laughs> <laughs> so to be able to get God all of the Microsoft. shit that fuck? comes with the actual computer you have to take it out of s mode what oh, the that's fuck great. that's what great what the shit microsoft so i was like why sell this computer that's branded for this keep it in s mode because you have to take it out of s mode just to get the rest of the shit that it comes with for free and i was like good thing i was able to fucking figure that out but just imagine the people who get this because it's cheap and have no idea how to do that I was like, There's... A curious question, actually, because I've actually wanted to ask this because I've never actually done it myself. How long, roughly, did it take you to get out of S mode? Uh, depends on the way uh, that you do it. Half an yeah. hour and more. Like, it just depends on how quickly you can sign into your account. And yeah, you can sign into your <laughs> You don't even need to reset your computer. Oh, it's just You go into the Microsoft Store, click Get, and it's just like, boom, done. Oh, damn. But the fun thing yeah. is, as a man that works for the geeks... <laughs> the people yeah, that, that don't have the Microsoft account, then it's like a 10 minute ordeal where you have to go into like registry editor and fuck around with that for a little bit. Yep. Okay, I was asking for the sake of as the best of the buys um, for selling it and talking about it more because people have asked me like, and then and I guess I always tell people, Mike, I'm not going to sit here and try to talk you through it because it's not any yeah. of the heat. But. I was just always curious about, like, because you guys, if you say 30 minutes, I go, okay, cool. So it's for, like, a normal person who's not necessarily the most technologically savvy, it'd probably be closer to a couple hours. Mm -hmm. If they have a In theory, something. it's only a couple buttons. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Uh, Quote, unquote, you know, in theory. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. Uh, at least working there, the hardest part was like getting their logins to their account. And sometimes it would be like, oh, yeah, we have, you know, BitLocker on here. So we need you to, yeah. you know, get the encryption key sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't let you do it. Like, it's just like little caveats like that. Yeah. But yeah that was always, in theory, yeah. it's pretty easy. <laughs> yeah. Surprisingly, well, yeah, it was, just, I've been told. Cause knowing what I, knowing what to do, like it didn't take long, but it's just like, like if you didn't realize that key component was you'd just be sitting at the downloads most people probably would return that well this stuff's not downloading comes for free like well it's do downloading because it doesn't fucking tell you to take it out of goddamn s mode <laughs> like nowhere it's it in the packaging it nothing. out of the box yeah, yeah. even to be honest like, with that laptop wasn't that thing pretty cheap in the first place it was place? 130 bucks yeah so oh that's a steal yeah, yeah. <laughs> It's one of those things where it's like... Like Minecraft's 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, you paid $110 for that laptop. Is what you yeah. Paid. Yeah. But it was just the funniest thing. I was sitting there, I'm like racking my brain. I'm like... Hmm. <laughs> That's why I took you so long. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, what the fuck? Yeah, I remember, remember like the yeah, one of the Christmas days you were out figuring out for a while. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm just sitting there. I'm like, what the fuck is on this? But that's what it was. It's like, that's the stupidest fucking shit. Um, Jeez. But, um. It will be right back, actually. No, you're good. Well. Um, but yeah, that was, that's pretty much a good time. That was, uh, New Year's just kind of hung out at the house, uh, watched the ball drop twice with my sons because it's funny. So here, <laughs> what it, what it is, is, so they have the regular ball drop. But on like ABC or like how everyone else watches it, so they stop airing it during midnight and the Eastern co East Coast. But you can change to like CNN or some shit, and it displays the East Coast ball drop. So you then you switch back. So like eleven o'clock, 
it replays the last hour of the Rock of New Year's on ABC in New York City. So it's exact New same York shit. City. So we watched the ball drop. Guess and you, oh, I was gonna say that you fucked with your kids. <laughs> but I like you knew what the future was gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> That'd been a good idea. No, I didn't though. Cause we watched it again. My son was like, "Didn't we just watch this?" And I was like, "Well, technically, yes." <laughs> He was like, well, where's the Tucson ball drop? I was like, well, we actually don't have one. And he was We're like, cool why? Enough. And I was because like, right really place. One one state. <laughs> and I was like, well, technically, we're all of central, all of um mountain times, even now. We're all in the same time frame. So you well, that's because Arizona is the only state in the entire freaking country that has their own time zone. So you would think <laughs> that um, because where all the mountain times is even, that maybe... Denver, Colorado would have it. Um, Phoenix would have their own like ball drop. Nope. Nah. We just watch New fucking, York. We just watch New York. So. Fucking yeah. North Carolina has one. Yeah. Oh, really? I've, um, yeah. <laughs> well, because if you were part of when I was in Texas, it switches to <laughs> um, uh, New Orleans. Like the Rock and New Year's at 1 a.m. and Eastern Standard Time switches to um, New Orleans and you watch New Orleans ball drop. There we go. But it doesn't like continue on and do it from state to state. You know, you just rewatch fucking New York's. No, oh, I remember we had um, a like ball drop. Like I think it was like 2001. Whatever the uh, the Bicentennial Tower was built here. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever fucking year that was. That's yeah, wild. It was, so it was just funny. My son was like, I could have sworn we already watched this. I was like, well, he kind of, we did. <laughs> it's like, you're not wrong. Um, you ain't wrong, so you must be right. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much about it, though. Uh, yeah. What about you, Mark? Oh, jeez. Where, where do I start? Uh, I'll try not to take forever. Um, worked a bunch, so it was pretty normal. Went home and saw the family over over the holidays. It was nice seeing them. Uh, spent a good couple days uh, down in Pittsburgh. Um, since I uh, live up in Erie, it's a little bit difficult uh, spending time with them, so I try to do it as much as possible. Uh, um, yeah. yeah, it was nice. It was a nice holiday. We had a bunch of or a, a few family members over. Nothing too exciting in comparison to other years but that's kind of how the times are mm-hmm. um yeah as for I, I guess interesting stuff that i did too um i played a handful of games like uh oh geez we played some phasmophobia as a group that was fun over the last uh, since our last podcast they put out a new update um doing good but, with adding stuff in i'm actually really happy about yeah that, they're being pretty like aggressive with the updates yeah, I'm glad that, you know, they put out like a, a holiday Christmas update and, you know, it's a, a scary Halloween game. So you don't really, you know, have expectations for that sort of thing. Christmas. Yeah. Christmas. <laughs> um, yeah, they played some Phasmophobia. I played some Risk of Rain with uh, Aim and the Boys. It's always a good time. I, I bought Inscription. I've been trying to get through that. That's the, the good old card game from Devolver. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. How is that? I I'm still waiting to see its appeal. From my from my opinion, or in my opinion, like I, it's good, but there's nothing that really draws me in to be like, wow, this is a super great game, or I need to keep playing it. It's just, I I, uh, without spoiling too much, like how, how how the as far as I know the loop goes is that like it's a, a permadeath sort of thing. So you go through and you have your lives, and then whenever you die, you start at the beginning and you go through the whole card process again. It's fun, like it's enjoyable, but after you do it a good, you know, 10, 12, 15 times, you're like, all right, you know, let's get on with this. Yeah. Um, But at the same time, that could also be attributed to me just as a a shitty player of the game. So I don't know. (laughs) Um, I played it, it, I'm probably try it again a handful more times before I completely write it off, but um, it's, I I wish it was a bit more um, than, you know, what I'm currently getting from it. Yeah, not to sound like a downer. Shit. <laughs> no, you're good. Um, 
played some Rocket League. That's always that's always good fun. Played some played some Don't Starve together uh, for the first oh, time. Don't, don't Starve is really fun. Yeah, I, I've never really no. got into it. Um, my my girlfriend has a, a crazy amount of time into it, so um, it was one whenever I um. I picked her up from the airport a couple of days ago from she was back seeing family. And really the only thing she asked for us to do was to play Don't Starve Together. And I was like, okay. And it, it was a nice time. <laughs> That's always good, uh, though. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, but it, it was it was different. I we, Honestly, we had more technical problems more than anything else. Like, um, she couldn't get like her Xbox controller to connect to it correctly. Um, and then whenever we did get it to work, um, we had problems seeing each other's games for some reason. And then that eventually did work. Um, and then even then when, as we were in it, um, I was like super lagging behind her and would like, you know, do like hardcore call of duty lag where you run, stop, and you're like still running oh, and you yeah. go backwards a bit and you're doing that sort of shit. Hell yeah. Like yeah. I had like hardcore, that sort of stuff. So I was like, all right, we need to. You, yeah, you, I was like, we need to restart this, make a new server, try this out again. Like, something's you, not working here. You were leeching off that Walmart free Wi-Fi. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, they, I, they said they had, like, built-in servers or, or something like that, but she hosted it off of her computer, which is a, a Surface laptop, um, which I, I honestly is not very powerful. So whenever we ran it through mine, which is also hardwired, I'll see you later, Walker. Uh, I'm sure Walker. Be <laughs> yeah, I think he was having issues. Yes. Um so once we get once we did that, it basically all worked for us. Oh hey there, buddy. Welcome back. <laughs> Hi buddy. Is Discord's loading? Uh, I'm watching his stream. <laughs> this is just trying to figure it out, pressing buttons. So, uh, I wonder what he did, because I had the same issues, but at least I fixed it. He's oh guy. no. Um, what else did I play? I played some Project Zomboid. That's always really fun. It's uh, on sale on Steam for like 10 bucks right now. It has uh, multiplayer beta. Um, but it's a really open world kind of, uh, you know, survival zombie uh, game. It's been out for a while. Um, I got it in early access and I played a couple hours on that not too long ago. Definitely worth uh, looking at or picking up if that's something you're interested in. <laughs> oh, shit. What else did I do? Um, I uh, fucking tried getting back into soldering circuit boards. Um, so I uh, picked up the new soldering iron and like got back into getting uh, soldering kits um, and made a little... I, I don't have it hooked up. It's uh, it's hooked up to my bench power supply right now. But I made a an LED array that um, has a, a tilt sensor in it um, that's shaped like an hour... Or the LEDs are in shape of an hourglass. Um, and then whenever you tilt it, it like falls down and then there's a potentiometer and a clock in there. So you can adjust like, so how, like how much it falls through. Um, yeah, I, I haven't soldered in, uh, I haven't like soldered that sort of stuff in years. And I, you know, I asked for a handful of like cheap ass kits for Christmas and I was like, you know, I want to get back into this and, you know, I had a lot of fun. It just takes, you know, the thing that I did took me a good two or three hours. I, I want to say, um, but that was primarily just getting all my shit together. Uh, what else did I do? Oh, I uh, fucking f 3D printed my first like commercial part. Um, so I, for the organization I, I, I code for, um, they have a, a mascot or a, an emblem that they like use to signify one of their products. Um, and it's literally just a face that's in the shape of a leaf that has like a, a bunch of semi features, a mouth, nothing too crazy. Um, so I, uh, yeah, I guess I can kind of show you a version of what I made. Um, it's, a uh, yeah, it's a little, oh, a little cool. keychain. Um, it's about, it's 60 millimeters by, I want to say 45 or so, at least, uh, the version that we finished up. Um, and, you know, I went from the, the, you know, just a picture of JPEG stage to a, a final product. Um, nice. and then, you know, made, uh, 25 or so of them shipped them out um and then also made a, a cookie cutter version of it so it was a uh, it was really neat like uh for having only been doing that for a year it was pretty satisfying having something put together and you know making something into fruition That's pretty um, yeah going from like the beginning stages yeah yeah like it's a having a final product and knowing knowing that like 
you can start seeing your imperfections and you look at it and you're like, okay, there's a, there's something here. I know how to fix that. And it's, it's, it's just been a really great learning experience, like trial by fire sort of shit. Like, uh, worth, worth looking into 3d printing, uh, 3d printers are pretty cheap now. Um, you can get a cheap Ender, Ender 3 for like 150 bucks or less, I think, on Amazon. Um, if you live by a micro center, uh, they occasionally have, um, I think it's like half off or free three Ender 3 printers, which is the printer that I have. Um, but, you know, it's a pretty easy hobby to get into. You just kind of, you know. Trial by fire. I feel like I'd fall down a black hole doing honestly. <laughs> exactly, but it's worth it. Like it's it's I, I've been enjoying it because it's a good way to waste my time and still kind of feel fulfilled at the end. Yeah, yeah so, that's, that's pretty fair. <laughs> so uh, that's enough about me. <laughs> yeah, we used to. I remember when we used to sell them, and then they stopped. I do too. Yeah, but now it's all about the cricket. Oh jeez, yeah, I don't yeah. remember that. The uh, embroidery machine. The vinyl cutting stuff. Yeah, yep, mm. that's the that's the new biggest thing that Best Buy has now since <laughs> well, that taken and, um, partaken in exercise equipment has been a big thing for them too. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I was yeah. more so meant the the creative side of things like that. Yeah, yeah. Specifically, just um, uh, getting into uh, printing. Yeah, I mean, Amazon has a bunch of shitty ones. I mean, honestly, you can get like a shitty, really entry level one. Like it's a, you know, if your your kids are you know of age of trying to you know mess with things and learn about things, it might be a good you know project for them. I I don't know. I'm just spitballing ideas. That's how I sold it to my boss. <laughs> so I think he might have gotten his kids one for for Christmas. I don't know, but that's that's beyond me. <laughs> Fix my webcam problems. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it looks like he really did. <laughs> yeah, you did a wonderful job with that, Jeremy. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Wait, it's it's all it's in a full high definition now. So it works out. Sure. <laughs> That's what you want to call it. Yeah, you're you're right. Your logo is in high definition. No, oh, no look at look his at stream. stream. Yeah, if you look at his stream. Oh, okay. I just <laughs> I thought I thought there was a way just to like focus on my face here, but there's not. Like get rid of this. I'm not watching your stream, so I can't really speak from it. Because you are a bitch. That's not nice. Oh, wow. Covering <laughs> me up. I see how it is. Okay, there we go. Right on. Bam. Uh, perfect. Uh, do you want to give a good holiday shout out and good New Party Year's to our thing. Patreon? Yeah. Hey. Uh, hey, ho, ho, ho. It's, it's, uh, Hold on, let me get my hat. Let me get my little, <laughs> my little baby, uh, guinea pig, uh, the dick hat, Santa hat. Some... <laughs> uh, ho ho ho! Uh, happy holiday, happy Honda days, uh, to <laughs> Jeff. Ah, fuck, Jeffrey Ryan for supporting us. Being the real MVP. Thanks, Being my the guy. real MVP. Definitely have to play again time t sometime soon. It was fun. I told you guys about the one day I thought I was inviting Jet, but I actually <laughs> invited him like 15 times. He's probably like, dude, what the fuck? Why is this guy? Why does he keep inviting me to a game? Yeah, that's uh, one where I was like, I'm not kidding him, and you're like, I promise I'm sending him. Oh, oh. I was like, oh shit! <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, so really quick, I got some movie news. Yeah. Oh boy. Um. Uh, kind of a reflection on the year oh more or less. we watched a movie we Speaking did watch which, a movie we watched a movie yes. this week we watched the matrix was it this week or was last week well we watched that the matrix since the last podcast yes. um speaking of the matrix uh it is currently at 190 million dollars in the box office um which is considered a success uh, it has yet to open in China, which is expected to make about another $100 million, which would put it at the highest grossing Matrix movie of all time. That's why. Um, it doesn't include, it does not say what. Um, oh, sh streaming services? Yeah, but with HBO Max's release, um, it 
looks like Mortal Kombat has emerged as the most watched movie in HBO Max of 2021. But you got to think. He finished it. Well, the thing, too, is The Matrix, not The Matrix, Mortal Kombat came out at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. So it had an entire year of people watching it. The Matrix came out on December 22nd. So, (laughs) um... Did you know the Simpsons predicted? Much time. Did you know the Simpsons predicted um, the new Matrix movie coming out in December for the holidays? They predict everything. There was Somehow there was a poster in one of the episodes, one of the earlier episodes of uh, it was like a holiday Matrix, and it was just That's Neo hard. just standing there with two guns and a Santa hat on. <laughs> they should have fucking something dope. Like that. It would have been fucking amazing. Mm-hmm. Um, it doesn't say where the Matrix currently stands. Um, it is, they said it's very possible that the Matrix, um, resurrection could lead into next year and possibly one of the highest grossing movies of next year. The issue is the Batman is being released to HBO Max exactly 30 days after its theoretical release. So it comes out in March. So instead of waiting like six months, however they usually wait, it's being released to HBO Max thirty days after the theoretical release. Theatrical, not theoretical. Theatrical. Theatrical. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> theoretical um, is like is something completely different. I mean, he's not necessarily wrong because theoretically <laughs> it's supposed to come yeah. out on this date, but if it so, will or not. Currently, as it stands, HBO Max, Mortal Kombat has. 3.8 million views. This was number one. Second place comes to God Godzilla vs. King Kong at 6.3 million. Hell yeah. And after f- five days of counting, The Matrix is third with 2.8 million. So both five movies, the um, Mortal Kombat and Godzilla vs. King Kong came out at the beginning of the year. The, this is counts five days for The Matrix. So, so more than likely, it's probably going to pass up those two. Um, probably. So while we're on the Matrix, let's go around the, the room. What was your uh, guys' thoughts? Uh, I'll start with you, James. Uh, well, y'all be a bunch of fucking idiots <laughs> for not getting the opening part of the movie. That's why I started with you. <laughs> <laughs> so They're not wrong. Spoilers for no the spoilers. first half hour of the movie. Oh, I guess spoilers for the first half yeah. hour of the movie. We're watching it, and these goofballs are like, "I don't get it. I don't get it. What's going? Why are there these flashbacks that are happening?" And I'm screaming into the microphone, saying, "Neo is in the fucking Matrix, you idiot." He's still in the Matrix. Oh, I don't get it. I don't understand. And I look. I, I, I tell him to pause on a scene where they're in a coffee shop. And I'm like, look, motherfucker. The sign says Simulate, and the loco is like five green vertical lines. <laughs> what the fuck? You can't do this. <laughs> like, they are saying it so hard. Hey, he's still in the fucking Matrix. He's back in the Matrix. He went back in. He jacked back in. Uh, but you weren't no, wrong. Uh, no, I was fucking right. I was a you genius. <laughs> Roger, e- yeah. I am the second coming of Roger Ebert. <laughs> um, I will admit they don't make it completely straightforward, as you'd say. I mean, they, do, it, they drop subtle hints. But they do drop subtle hints, but like I watched it again with my girlfriend a couple days ago, and even even she didn't realize until he was fully out of it. Like. Yeah. Maybe I just maybe it's, it's, it's just built differently. Just well, a, yeah. the, the thing that makes it more confusing than anything else, it, mm, like again, I don't want to spoil too much of it, but the the fact that he's a game developer really yeah. fucks just kind of fucked fucks up. up like, yeah, what I was trying to figure out because then you yeah. get the idea. It's like, well, what if you know it's just it, what they're actually talking about? Like, what if it's actually just a video game and this dude is going through a mental break? Yeah, like. Mm-hmm. I, it, yeah, it, possible. Good, good writing. Like it, it definitely went. It took me for. I'll say that much. <laughs> yeah. If it was at the same if, time, it, it kind of leaves to the fact is 
well, are they going to erase the fact that the other Matrix existed? Would they come to find out it's just a fucking video game the whole time? Now, that now, would have been if, a hell of a twist. It, that would have been a hell of a twist. Now, if this came out and the original Matrix was never released, I would That'd be like, be yeah, story. no, yeah. 100%, this is, this, this is just a game. They're talking yeah. about the game. But after seeing the and watching the writing that the Wachowskis did for 2 and 3, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, no, I'm like, 100%. Like, he's still in the Matrix. Yep. But they're not yeah, good was... enough to do a twist like that. They're not. They're not competent enough to do a twist like that. <laughs> but yeah, it was like. And then after that point, I was like, "Oh, this is a lot more straightforward, and the <laughs> writing's a bit more simple." But okay. <laughs> yeah, but it was really good. Yeah. No. Overall, like I yeah. liked it a lot. It was way better than two and three, but it wasn't. Mm-hmm. It didn't have the charm of the first one. But you can't. Yeah. That was lightning in a bottle. You can never capture that again. Oh yeah, no, because that was something. That was something new something that no one's ever seen before mm-hmm. like that whole concept was just completely different yeah. but i liked it it was it was good it was it took a while it was a slow build but at the same time it ended up fucking becoming of what it was and then definitely fucking... left a lot of open doors man it was things. absolutely crazy when J- jonathan neo died <laughs> super hard by jumping off a cliff <laughs> you're not wrong at the final five yeah. minutes of the movie but that was i liked it i i um it was different a lot of uh gave us the the quick dose of keanu reeves since now we have to wait until fucking 2023 for john, john wick, wick 4, for four yeah. because of um fucking top gun mm-hmm because they didn't want to compete yes. with Top Gun Maverick over Memorial Day weekend. I'm like, <laughs> I'm thinking to myself, so John you release Wick. it a month later. Well, yeah, why not change it at the same time? If they release the same day, John Wick Maverick versus Maverick. John, John Wick's Wick gonna fucking... Maverick versus yeah. Maverick. Sorry. Hell yeah. <laughs> John Wick versus Top Gun Maverick. John Wick's gonna fucking destroy it. I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. I'm probably gonna see Top Gun Maverick. Top Gun's fucking, pretty popular. I fucking love Top Gun. Especially the fact yeah, that it blew you, up again a couple of years ago. But at, at the same time, like you have this younger demographic who have been with the John Wick franchise What's a Tom compared Cruise? to all these people who have never seen Top sure, Gun dude, because like, it was released 30 Cal years dude. ago. Like, So you have this... like at, the, Again, the demographic that's going to see Top Gun is going to be between average probably 30 to 60. I don't know about that. While you have, well, I would say, I would probably even like even go to like closer to forty. While you have John Wick, you have twenty to thirty-five, like, and so it just depends. Two yeah. very key demographics. We will never know. Yeah. Yep. We won't know now. Um, two very large demographics. Uh, a couple other things. Uh, 2021, uh, Marvel made up 30% of the total U.S. box office. Oh, wow. Um, it's almost like they're forcing so people, they force people to go to the theater to watch their movie, even though they have a perfectly competent um, streaming service. Um, you may or may oh, not no. have to pay a premium fee for just to watch said movies. Yep. I oh, yeah. you have to pay for it. Yeah, yeah. You, have, you have to pay for on top of paying for your streaming service already. That's kind of like... Yep. With e- I, I have ESPN Plus, and I think it's absolutely bullshit that I have to... If I want to watch a UFC like main event fight, not only do I yep. have to pay the seven ninety nine a month for ESPN Plus... Gotta pay fucking to use, $60, $70. And then $70 on top of that. Yep. Like it's a fucking like, racket, mate. Oh, it's even like, worse for the fact that I watch football, and the fact is they're like, yeah, we cover these games, but you also have to pay for this streaming services thing. We can't actually mm-hmm. watch the football games because yeah. we don't have rights to those. Don't worry. Like, I off. got you with a good site to legally, completely legally watch every football game. There you go. Hun- yeah, 100% that. illegally, because that's how I watch my Ohio State Buckeyes play. The other night. That sounds very, very good. Hundred percent to have 
to use this very legal website of yours. Yeah, Comcast.com. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. Appreciate it. Yeah, no problem, um, guys. Yeah. Out of that uh, 30% Thank you, Mr. Comcast. of the... Yeah, pretty much. Not like a sponsor. It. Um, out of that 30% total, Spider-Man No Way Home itself claims 12% of that all by itself. And oh, claimed twelve percent of the overall uh, domestic box office revenue for twenty twenty one. So where does this take crazy. place? It's what immediately the... after Spider Man Two, uh, yeah, Far right. From Home. So where does that take place? Have like you not city. That one. Yeah, no, like city wise I... or like yeah, time city frame? wise. New York City. Yeah. Okay. Well, and no, was... No Way Home was in. Well, No in Way Home takes place Europe. overseas. Yeah, it's in okay. New York. And then but this, this place, new one this takes, takes place, place in New York, York City. Correct. Yes. But how is there no um, way home if he's already home? There it is. Exactly. <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's now it is officially Sony's highest grossing movie of all time. It is now number nine on the all time highest grossing movie list of history, as well as it is the highest grossing pandemic box office the highest grossing of 2021 and the highest grossing movie since uh um july of 2019 which is so crazy it, to think about did it pass up uh what a gross the other ones by the way i know we were talking it's the highest the grossing um marvel movie since uh endgame and uh infinity wars so is this it's out it's outpacing in uh infinity wars but it's not gonna. It's not yeah. even coming close to Endgame. Endgame was on a completely fucking another level. So that was in the uh, pre the the early days, the before times. It took it took Endgame five days to reach a billion dollars. <laughs> that's stupid. I was part of that like billion how, dollars. Hi, dog. Like that's that's how fucking quick it it reached a billion podcast. dollars. Um, and actually, for a short period of time, was the number one gross movie of all time until James Cameron re-released yeah. fucking Avatar. <laughs> Hell yeah, let's go. James Cameron. Um, yeah, I, I never understood that whole concept. I mean, I get it, but at the same time, re-releasing a movie is always funky to me. All right, all right, guys, can you name one character from James Cameron's Avatar? Like uh, the Blue Man Group. Right, any, char- any character. Can you name one character from James Cameron's Avatar? Sully. That's the dude. All right, all right, yep. I got nothing. <laughs> that was I wasn't really that James, into that movie, so I got nothing. God damn. <laughs> uh, Krista. Oh wait, that's from Fern Gully. Shit. Exactly. It's the fucking highest grossing movie of all time, and nobody fucking remembers it. All right, hold on. Let me look up. Let me look up. Uh, what's it called? Avatar. I was still thinking about Fern Gully. <laughs> Yeah, What's it called? That one movie? That characters. one thing? All right, let's take See, a look. I know, I know uh, the characters. I'm just trying to make a statement. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, hold on. Is this Avatar The Last Airbender or Avatar <laughs> the movie? <laughs> hold on. This is just Avatar. No, that's Avatar The Last Airbender. Okay. Um, Avatar The Last Airbender. I look up Avatar characters, and the only thing that shows up is Avatar The Last Airbender. Avatar <laughs> movie That, that right there tells you. Th- that makes no sense. Like, God, no, Jay- movie, you look up Avatar, you don't find the actual all right. movie. You find Just Avatar that's the last year. That's all you have to know. All right, hold on. Okay, let me let me go over a few of the good ones. Um, we have I already said Sully. You can't re- repeat that. That's the main character. Abel Stojak. Uh, what? Alar Ata. Um, Atan. Uh, BB Levison. Uh, CJ. Uh, <laughs> uh, the the Earl. Earl. N2. Uh, Grace <laughs> yeah. Augustine. Oh, yeah. That's Scorny Weaver. <laughs> uh, Kanai. Ka- 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 Kanai. <laughs> All the tribes people. <laughs> Did you already uh, say Natiri? She was the main character of the woman. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Marcia Zoe. de los Santos. Who also plays uh, uh, um, Gamora in uh, Guardians of the Galaxy? Uh oh, we have uh, Nathan's great great. Oh, sorry, Nathan's great great grandfather. Um, 
<laughs> that was my favorite. Uh, that was my yeah. favorite. All Rot- the beautiful characters. Rotko? R O T X O. Rotko? Sure, let's go with that. Uh, Shaman of Songs. Uh, the Shaman, that two completely different characters. Uh, one of songs and just Sumong. Uh, Venture Star Crew Chief. Ooh. Uh, Ye Yongo and Ye Yongo's Child. And <laughs> Zoe Kung. Those are my favorites. Those are my favorite characters from the movie. I hate you so much. <laughs> Good old Zoe Kung. Oh, yeah. So, so Avatar. <laughs> Avatar The Last Airbender. Aang is my Y'all favorite. Y'all don't fucking remember it. <laughs> I love M. Night Shyamalan. Oh my god. <laughs> like it's I said, it was that, that one uh, crystal, Chris, crystal... Oh, th- fuck. That's from Fern Gully again. Damn it. What is up with you and it's Fern Gully, my dude? It's the same movie. Fern Gully and hmm. Avatar is the exact same movie. True. Yep. Um... <laughs> Last uh, two pieces of news of the movie varieties that I have. Uh, one, so you guys know that there's a remaining blockbuster in Oregon, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. So, the last blockbuster, not affiliated with blockbuster in any way, shape, or form. So with that, this gives it no longer um, exists. A crypto mm-hmm. company is planning the to US. buy the name and buy the the store blockbuster and revive it and turn it into a streaming service. Um, they already did that, though. Like, they already had a blockbuster streaming service, whereas Netflix was, like, already pretty popular. Yeah, yeah it was, it was well, crazy, because Netflix was supposed to be... was going to buy... was going to get bought by Blockbuster, but Blockbuster yeah. basically told them, fuck off, it won't actually be a thing. Your streaming is stupid. And this whole sending who movies to, to people's buy, houses thing. Who wants to rent DVDs through the mail? <laughs> yeah, and then now biggest company, one of the biggest companies in the world. Oh yeah, no, definitely. And um, but no, they are uh, trying to buy the rights. It's a it's a crypto company. They're trying to buy the rights to the name Blockbuster as well as the storefront property and convert it as a streaming service. Um, right now it looks to be about five million dollars to acquire the property. Um, they're in negotiations to have it done. Uh, it is set to rival. Um, um, uh, Netflix. Netflix and the the parent company is actually Dish Network. So yeah, Dish um, had a thing. Yeah, Dish owns Blockbuster. Yep. So they're trying to acquire it from Dish, but it seems it's not really working properly right up, now. Uh, but um, it's gonna cost gonna cost so, uh, 0.5 Ethereum every month. Pretty much. So we'll see if it, we'll see what happens, and we'll see Tell if it um, crashes, and then they're really fucked on that one. Um, we'll see if it gives us some uh, some new streaming services. Um, and the last thing I have is is uh, get some better prices. We'll go over some quick year releases from the most anticipated movies of the year. Um, so next week we have Scream Five, the continuation. Ah. Of uh, Scream, where everybody returns. People just can't make a new movie nowadays. They're just going off of old shit, and they're just been, like, "I'm I've releasing been, a sequel." I've been well, hearing a, a lot of ads for this on podcasts. Yeah, they're they're it's, editing, their advertising is pretty hard. I'm still um, waiting for a call from them. It's um, right. Can you guys advertise this for us, please? It's coming to theaters, and a month Back later, up. it's going to go to Paramount Pictures or Paramount Plus. Um. So that'll be big, and it has everybody else, like everyone's new, like from the original cast. You have, I don't even remember the fucking characters' names, but um, everyone's returning, reprising the roles, but the killer is different. So we'll got see the, what happens. Like Courtney Cox, Speed Camera. Um, Give me a second. I think I gotta um, unplug my dog. What's you have to unplug your dog? Um, <laughs> no, like... I think my dog unplugged my camera. <laughs> Um, I'm pretty sure it happened. David um, Arquette. All David Arquette. Guys. That's who I was looking for. Yeah. It's like they're, right, they're, they're all returning. Uh, WW or the WCW World Heavyweight Champion. Yeah. David Arquette. Um, at the end of <laughs> January, you have the next um, Marvel movie, but it's done by Sony called Mobius. 
Jared Leto. Uh, February 4th, you have Jackass Forever, the last installment of Jackass. Um, I'm actually curious to see how that movie's going to do. My thing is that's what they said about the old one. This is the last installment of Jackass. Well, I think the biggest thing is they just got bored and wanted to do something. <laughs> so Probably. Or they ran out of money. Yeah, that yeah, was gonna be the other thing is like it might have been a mixture of the two where they're slowly creeping out of money and the other yeah. board because like like you said I think what's his name uh, Johnny Knoxville literally went to the hospital on the first day of oh. filming. Um, him and uh, Steve-O both did. Yeah. Um, they heard there's a clip of him on a stretcher with neck braces. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like I guess this is what this is what happens when you turn fifty. Yeah, your body can't handle the same things it used to uh february we're getting finally uncharted february finally. 18th for, for now yeah um if you haven't seen free guy on february 23rd it's coming to uh disney plus <clears throat> I see hey. yeah. um, um march 4th you have the new batman called the batman with robert pattinson which honestly looks really good which so is I'm not curious. associated with Batman or Batman or Batman nope. Returns. Exactly. Or the. Uh, <laughs> the word the. I like it. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry, that one was just too open. <laughs> oh, that was good. On uh, April is my 8th. my humor rubbing probably... off on you, Jet? Uh, it is. But... I think so. No, hey, there we go. I think, honestly, probably one of the most anticipated movies, at least in my mind, oh. April 8th, you have Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Hell yeah, I can't wait for that. Hey, better not suck. So, I'm hoping not. <laughs> yeah, because um, the last one I had to be wait. remade for a whole fucking year because they were I can't it was wait. Gonna suck. Yeah, and it was unbelievably good, so, I mean, yeah. it, had, it, oh, it, it shit. better not Speaking suck. Speaking of Sonic, hold on. Let me get off my fat ass and show you something that I got. Okay. Hey. Hey. Okay, he's standing up. He's he's, he's, he's up. Oh. The headphones coming off. Shit's getting Shit, real. Shit's getting down right now. Oh jeez. He pulls out a blue. You gotta similar. go fast. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez, I can't see his turn face. Off your fireplace, it's not happening. It's a fire. <laughs> oh, Sonic's on fire. Sonic's on fire. <laughs> it's a. It's a. Uh, Two in that round one. Hey, look, look at that. Yeah, hey. Mike Zach, whatever. Sonic plush. Yeah, it's like baby it. Sonic plush. Baby Sonic plush. That's pretty dope. I like it. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, hey, May six, probably one of the more anticipated movies, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. On <laughs> May twenty seventh, uh, Top Gun Maverick, as well as Bob Burgers the movies Ooh. is coming out. Bob goes to the oh, movies. Geez. Um, on June 10th, you have the Jurassic uh, World 4, no, Jurassic World 3, Dominion. Uh, that movie will be big. You have every character that was ever in a Jurassic Park movie or world movie returning. As the premise is, the dinosaurs basically run the world now. Um, June 17th, uh, you have Lightyear, which is the animated version of Buzz Lightyear. No, yeah, this is the one that's got no, like it almost Sonic esque. Oh, Toy Toy Story and RTX. All right. Yeah. Basically. Yeah, it's fucking. It's gotten the uh, the Frozen makeover. Um, July first, you have the new on. Minions movie. Uh, July eighth, another big Marvel movie, Thor: Love and Thunder. Uh, July 29th, you have The Rock's next movie, Black Adam, which will be pretty big. Uh, August 12th, you have the live-action Pinocchio. Um, going down, going down, going down. Uh, September 23rd, you have Puss in Boots. Yes, they're bringing mm. that back. Hell yeah. Which I didn't realize. I hope it's um, a video game adaptation. I have, I have yet to see the first one. But I've never it's... seen it either. <laughs> it, uh, was, there um, a, was there a there was specific, a game. like, Puss, Puss in Boots movie? Yeah. Yeah. It was oh, came okay. after, it came out after Shrek, two or three, whatever yeah, movie he was in. Somewhere around there. So after they got off the Shrek train. Yeah. Um, okay. September thirtieth, you have the Shrek train. Oh. <laughs> uh, Mission Impossible Seven. Uh, October, uh, first you have Hocus Pocus Two. Ooh. Which is crazy to think about. Better not suck. 
um, every <laughs> original, every character from that is returning. Oh wow! Um, I, it'll well, I guess probably it, be it good then. It doesn't have the weight though, saying that every character is there when it's Hocus Pocus two. Yeah, I know. It's just a sequel. It is. Well, you got to think though; the witches are old as shit. Like fucking yeah. Sarah Jessica Parker is like sixty years old now. So still it would be interesting good. for sure. Still looks good for her. And then, and the kids, <laughs> the kids are now adults. So like you have that too. Um, October seventh, you have Spider Man Across the Spider Verse, the new Spider Man movie. Uh, October fourteenth, Halloween ends, the final act in this new Halloween trilogy. Uh, November fourth, this is this end of the year is pretty fucking big, in terms of what comes out. So November fourth, you have Avatar, not Avatar, sorry. November fourth, you have The Flash which Michael Keaton reprises his role. November 11th, you have Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Uh, November 23rd, you have Creed 3. Uh, October 16th, um, you have Aquaman and the Lost, uh, the Lost Kingdom, but I feel bad for Aquaman because <laughs> it's going against probably the biggest movie of the year, Avatar 2, which is 11 years in the making. Avatar uh, had to wait for the cool. technology, bro. Yeah, that I'm curious how that's gonna work out because I don't know. Um, I think it'll blow up because the fact, especially with happened with Johnny Depp's wife, I think that may play. She's into still that. in it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So they filmed it before they fired her. That actually might do the opposite. I thought they fired. Yeah, they guess that she's no, still in it. That makes sense. She um they filmed half the movie. Johnny Depp's wife was in it and then they fired her halfway through and they already filmed all of her parts. <laughs> um yeah, I think which, there's a lot of people that may not watch that movie for that reason. They um, just Johnny slap Depp's, someone else's face on there. Yeah, Johnny Depp's actually suing her for 50 million dollars because her false accusations got Johnny Depp fired from the new Pirates of the Caribbean movie and all of future um, Fantastic Beast movies. I'm also so, pretty sure he's gonna win that too. Yeah, pretty easily. Well, well because he won the he yeah. won the original case that she was lying about it all. Yeah, um, on top of that, like the fact that he's he's got a point. Like that's exactly there's like hard evidence that basically states that he would have yeah. made this much money off of it because it's in his contract. So, but um, yeah, Avatar two I think will be Ow. big. It's a lot of focus on underwater based off of James Cameron's uh, trip to the Marinian Trench. Um, Mariana Trench? Mariana's Trench, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> Mar the Marinara Trench. The Marinara <laughs> Trench. Jesus That's Christ. not the course of Italy. Jeremy, do we... Do, do you need a monster or something, bud? Because you are um, struggling, my man. So, it'll be interesting to see the premise. I don't... I'm hoping it'll have the same impact that it did because it was a surprise fucking hit and it became the number one gross movie in history. Mm. Has it been too long? I don't know. That's kind of... Uh, it is... That is a very, very touchy area for that for the sake that it's... Like you said, it's been 11 years. And like Mark said, yeah, it is probably something to do with technology, but people don't <laughs> think of it that way. The normal human being does not think of it that way. They're like, yeah. oh... You they're event, gonna, gonna they're gonna it. advertise the shit out of it. I'm sure it'll oh, be no, fine. It oh yeah. <laughs> um, and then we have the biggest movie, probably that's gonna beat Avatar, is on Christmas Day. We have Chris Pratt. Oh God. Becoming. Oh fuck Mario. off! <laughs> it's me, <laughs> Mario. It's me, Mario. It's, it's me, Chris Pratt. Mario. I'm sorry, Mario. It's me. Wow, Luigi, how could you do that? That oh, comes wow. out on Christmas Day. That goes against my Catholic values. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's all I got. Um, getting to uh, some news. Um, and then we got some lists, too. Yeah, uh, an hour and a half. My ass. Yeah. <laughs> that's more than an hour. Uh, James, what do you have? Uh, News-wise, nothing. Perfect. It's a yeah, new year. I had a few things I posted about. Nothing too crazy. Um, Go ahead, my man. Yeah, sure. Uh, if I can... Um, I don't even know where to start here. So, uh, uh, 
pour one out for uh, for uh, you know some of the some of the few people we lost this year. Like uh, recently, we had uh, John Madden, you know, from mm-hmm. the the good old Madden games. Yeah, and then the other big yeah. big one this year. Oh, uh, good old Betty White, you know, our, our golden girl Betty White. She was out, supposed to outlive us, and here we are still. She was outlive the human race. So that, that woman here, is... someone I, I can't take credit for this because I saw someone tweet about this. Um, <clears throat> to set up a star-studded birthday, and then to die. We like two and a half weeks before your birthday party mm-hmm. is the biggest fuck you to everyone. It's like one big last fuck you to everyone. She's just an absolute legend. Well, yeah, because fucking yeah, <laughs> HBO Max. Mighty, and I died. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like <laughs> HBO Max spent a shit ton of money doing a live like celebration of her life over the last hundred years, like everything that she's done, and it was going to be live. <laughs> that is true. That's hilarious. I like it. It's just like fuck you, HBO. Can we can we just have a <laughs> moment of silence? <laughs> Let's have a moment of silence for Betty White. Oh damn. Yeah. Thank right. you for being a friend. Yes. <laughs> See what you did there. This is white. Uh what else you got, Mark? Keep going. Um uh, yeah, so uh uh, to turn off of that so uh good old if you're a harry potter fan there's a, a new spin-off spin-off movie uh sequel kind of thing working on called uh harry potter return to hogwarts there's a trailer yep. on youtube check it out um what else do i have uh what's it called uh tiktok has been releasing a, a, a it's been beta testing their their live platform and it, it mm-hmm. turns out it's another fork of obs yep. figured i'd mention it so, um, it's also OBS. it was also the uh most like visited website of the year. It dethroned Google dot com. That's oh yeah, yeah, that's wild. Yeah, I remember reading about that. It's it's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fuck you, TikTok. They're really popular. I yeah, I'm just I, I'm always butthurt when I read about people or read about organizations using, you know, OBS and not, you know, giving them proper credit or making their software open source. Um, because, you know, that's what OBS is free. It's written by um, primarily one person, but, you know, a team of a team of people that work on it for free because it's open source. And then these companies come in and say, oh, yeah, we forked it. That's our permission to put our, our name on it and, you know, close it all up. Like it's as a developer, it's just kind of irritating. So I, I feel bad for the OBS people. I I have stopped using Streamlabs OBS because they recently got into the same hot water, um, doing the same thing. They, uh, you know, made their OBS thing based off of the the standard OBS, but didn't ask for permission, and um, they kind of got into a, a PR mess a month or two ago. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I use default OBS. It works really well. There's not a bunch of frills and. Um, highly recommend. <laughs> um, that's all news for me. <laughs> um, I got a couple quick quickies. Hey. Um, speaking of OBS, uh, Streamlabs has nothing to do with OBS, but same thing. Uh, <laughs> sets an all new record of concurrent users at twenty seven point nine million. Um, which is absolutely crazy. The point that Mark made. Yeah, um, Steam kicked off with a bang. <laughs> it is breaking current records constantly. Uh, it is now at twenty-seven point nine million simultaneous users, um, which is absolutely crazy. That's wild. Well, makes sense yeah. with all of the the holiday stuff, though. If everybody all of a sudden getting into gaming and computers is just blown up in the last year. Oh yeah, it's been it's the new norm. It really is. Yeah. Uh, since the beginning of the year. It has increased by 11 million users, which is absolutely fucking insane to think about. Yeah. Um, it's a small uh, country. Yeah. Or a large country. With mm-hmm. Not many people. I don't know. <laughs> but good for it, though. Uh, little cutoff here of news, and I can only space out about this. Yeah. Uh, this kind of goes a little bit down James and me here with Resident Evil. Um, I don't remember if we talked about this last podcast, so there was a little bit of a leak. Uh, in Capcom, there's one of their voice actor, Wesker's voice actor, if I'm correct, um, leaked some pictures 
of a re Resident Evil 4 remake Leon in an outfit and Wesker in an outfit. So there's a big thing going on legal, maybe a legal battle coming soon with that because he purposely leaked it. The guy who does Wesker's voice. Nice. So it's a good He's way to keep pissed. your job. He was pissed. Yeah. Or everybody was pissed about it. Yeah. And Capcom's like, we're trying to keep that under the table. And so there's a possibility of some legal some legal things coming to fruition with that. Yeah, uh, NDAs so. aren't something to mess with. Uh uh. Yeah. Um uh, one sorry big... about that, I just wanted to no, put you're that good. out. Um for those who've been trying to figure out what the fuck is going on with Final Fantasy sixteen. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they have... so the entire half population <laughs> they have finally released a tweet uh, apologizing that they talked about the game a year and a half ago and haven't talked about it since that this spring they will be releasing a huge announcement um around the game i'm assuming probably a release date in 2023 um maybe i don't know or maybe no, later that this day year. that day that day yeah um and what's going to be coming forth and as well potential gameplay they apologize they want they basically said they want to make sure everyone has they make the perfect game um allowing the individuals to know uh what their current stance are so nothing about final fantasy 7 part 2 but at least it's something i think uh, one of the things that cracks me up about that so much is these companies ever since cyberpunk like fell apart yeah you notice a lot of companies are now back backtracking about a lot of these games like a lot of them are like oh shit we fucked this up we're under a lot of scrutiny because mm -hmm. we saw what happened when somebody who had a big game coming fucked it all up so everybody's like yeah yeah we're, we're just gonna backtrack our release dates and or push back our release dates and understand that if we just tell the community we're just trying to make it better they're getting away with it almost at this point because it's just they've been, they're willing to release something that's not necessarily complete. I'm kind of oh, yeah, glad that happened, but at the same time, it's just kind of funny how developers and such are treating it in some cases. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> You're like, oh, that's fucking irritating. That's the standard now. And just patch it out later. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, pretty I, much. I like that, and I don't like that. I mean, yeah. there's there's a thin line there where I'm like, is it too, too much to ask the fact that I can't play the game like a cyberpunk and it can't be patched out and a year later is when it takes to its final capability. Yeah, and even then it's still not fully up there. Yeah. Um done, it's done, it's So I, I have something uh Final Fantasy related to to Final going. Fantasy related news. Uh one Final Fantasy fourteen is still not available for purchase. Really? Um <laughs> They took down the game because the queues after Endwalker came out were so stupid. Like, if you were on, um, who's the WoW streamer that jumped ship? The big WoW streamer that jumped ship? Uh, uh Golden something. Asmongold. 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 If you were on the server that he was, you would expect, like, a seven hour wait to get into the game. My server, just... it was, like, two, two and a half hours. That's just nuts for me for a game. Like, yeah, that's like, I just can't. Oh, it just might yeah. hurts from that. So they, they cut the uh, sales of all versions of Final Fantasy 14 for the time being. Uh, sure because more servers fixed because it's too popular. They're doing it's there's too many people playing the game. I think never had that happen before where it's. I mean, maybe WoW a little while ago, but that's just I think probably while Burning Crusade, but it wasn't anywhere near. And Endwalker oh. came out, uh, FF14 Endwalker. It's been over a month. Yeah, it's been it's been a minute. Um, November 19th. Yeah, and it's still fucking just, like, destroying things, like records. Now, yeah, Almost now the queues, yeah, the queues have been getting better. It's now like you know maybe an hour if that, but still, still they justify they... waiting an hour to get into a game. Yeah. Now, especially a game I, I pay for. Yeah, monthly. Yeah. Mhm. Mm but this, so it's never been this bad. But 
there's always been every expansion that comes out for 14 there's always a much longer queue wait um because when i played i, I mean, can't sense but not yeah that. you get the you get the people that play for like you know just to like they are already level cap they haven't had their subscription in a few months they re-up their subscription they come get back just and burn through all the expansion the rest of the expansion stuff in the first um um update for it yeah maybe like a month if that um but yeah no it's been been a minute and they're still just like having terrible terrible cues problems yeah so when i would play i it would be like instantaneous when i would hop in Yep, that's the same when I played with you. Possibly getting into it, and I'm just like, not with a two-hour fucking time to get into the game. But wait, if you want to, I this is breaking news that I just found out. Uh, if you do want to get into a Final Fantasy MMO, currently, right now on the Square Enix Store, you can get the Final Fantasy XI Ultimate Collector Seekers Edition with all five. Uh, expansions and 30 days free for ten dollars. Oh wow! Some people, still, some people still say that's their favorite Final Fantasy game. Oh yeah, there's apparently stuff on here. Like I know a lot of people do prefer some of the stuff from 11 on to 14 than to 14. A lot of people still play it. Yeah, they're they're still updating it. Which like this crazy. game came out on the PS2. Let yeah. me see the let me see the specs that are needed the uh, system requirements. Let me just real what, quick what here. Is it like a Radeon freaking like RX Intel Quad Core Two Duo Celeron <laughs> processor? Oh, I have to tell me how to install DirectX. That's cool. Fucking Athlon uh, G. God, full setup a part one. Processor. Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> it's just oh, that Athlon series, man. Windows install. No, that's how I uh, did For business no. machines, they weren't terrible. The Athlon I'm thinking of, but what the hell am I thinking of? Uh, AMD yeah, kind of struggled at the maybe. time. I think it was the e ah. chip or something. Okay, so you need, you need Windows 8.1, an Intel Core i3 2.4 gigahertz or higher, 2 gigs of RAM, and NVIDIA <laughs> GeForce <laughs> GT 740 or higher. Drivers must oh, be compatible geez. with DirectX 8.1. <laughs> Uh, 15 gigs of hard disk space and continuous internet connection. I like it. I like the two gigs of RAM in there. <laughs> yeah, that's for if your screen resolution is set to eight or 1280 by 720 and draw precision set to 1024 by 1024. All settings high, shadow set to normal. <laughs> Hot damn. Um, Let's go play and the last the piece of news that, that I have is yesterday uh some new achievements magically popped oh, up on xbox yeah, i saw about this um true, true achievement. and the achievements were for goldeneye 007 <laughs> uh they popped up on quite a few people's streams people got pictures and they were taken down um almost immediately but immediately after uh james bond's twitter page posted a tweet saying that this year we celebrate james bond's 60th uh, anniversary with a lot of new announcements events and great content coming in 2022 so basically rumoring a new game for james bond which has yeah. been years since we've gotten one and phil spencer uh. said um in an interview last year that one of the biggest misses that he regrets not having is 007 goldeneye on the xbox yeah so he, this comes like a few weeks after the um leak for the xbox 360 remake for goldeneye was yep. thrown out into the world so uh it is so showing and the thing with the the goldeneye 007 version um the achievements for for the 1997 NES, the, the Nintendo 64, um, because of the achievements that they found, they lined them up. They lined up with that game. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what happens. So uh, yeah, that's that's in like Goldeneye is in a very weird spot. It was developed by Rare, which is now a Microsoft-owned <laughs> company, yep. published by Nintendo, 
of an IP owned by Sony. <laughs> <laughs> well, Columbia, which is a sister company of Sony. Sony. Subsidiary. So <clears throat> they had to get the okay from the rights holder for James Bond. Mm-hmm. If it is a full remake or remaster of the James Bond game, the uh, likeness of, to Pierce Brosnan, uh, the okay from uh, Columbia to do uh, the game, yeah, the okay from Nintendo to release Ow. it because they published it, you're like huh. th- three people deep, three big multi like multi billion dollar corporations deep that's yeah. so funny i mean microsoft would be the one to do it yeah, i'm sure at this wrong. point everyone's just like fuck it but we don't care anymore just do yeah, it. Pretty much. they're making money why not yeah everyone's making money at this point i'm buying it yeah, day one hell yeah every system like a... i'll hello? buy every copy of it hello hey, who is, is that it you? sorry it's me <laughs> <laughs> um <laughs> And the last thing I have, I have the finally updated top 100 games of all time updated two days ago by IGN for the first time in two and a half years. Um, all right, a lot of big go. updates. Uh, I'll start off with some and then we'll kind of go from there. Do you want me to do all 100 or stop like top 50? Let's just do top 50. No one cares about the bottom, yeah, I'm not not bottom 50. Sit. Well, I'm not going to do them all at once. Uh, we'll start with 51. Because 51 is Left 4 Dead 2. Hey. hey. Uh, 50 <laughs> is Earthbound. Uh, wow, 49... that's low. That's real low. Uh, 49, Diablo 2. 48, Starcraft. 47, World of Warcraft. Remember, 46... fuck Blizzard, by the way. And yeah, pretty much. Uh, 46, <laughs> Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. 45, Fallout New Vegas. Uh, 44, really um, yeah. 44, Final Fantasy VI, which blows my mind because wow. 98, 98 was the original Final Fantasy VII. Wow! <laughs> yeah. Wow! Yeah, 90, yeah, number 98 was the original Fuck Final Fantasy VII. IGN doesn't That's know wild. what a video game is. <laughs> Holy shit. They really yep. don't. Like, what I saw that, and I'm like, time out a second. Like, are we talking about the remake or the original? <laughs> no? The original there are is opinions. number nine. Like, this is all subjective, but, like, man, your opinion's yeah. wrong. Um, 97 was Assassin's Creed 4. Which, but, whatever. That was one of the better um, ones, probably the best ones of the entire series. That's my favorite one. Um, no, you guys come over too. People just was. people just love to come over too. There's okay. Let me go back a little bit because there's some I'm just scrolling through really quick. The top from 100 to 50. So, 86 is Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Are you fucking what kidding me right fuck? now? 84 is Resident Evil 2 remake. 10 out of 10. Ah! <laughs> yeah, 84 is Resident Evil 2 remake. I'm gonna break this fucking chair. What the fuck? Um, Good list, Parker. They're gonna probably say yeah. what is like number thirty-eight is Resident Evil. All right, we're done Wolves. here. Number forty-nine, number seventy-nine is Fortnite. So it ranks better than Resident Evil Two Remake. Just want that out there. Fucking die. I'm gonna fucking kill IGN <laughs> for that one. Um, uh, Silent Hill Two is sixty-seven. Are you joking right now? Nope. Uh, 55 is Apex Legends. Wait, wait. Silent Hill 2 what? ranked lower than fucking <laughs> Apex Legends. <laughs> what? Fuck. Uh, My brain um, from that one. Okay, going back. So 43, Pokemon Yellow. 42, Metroid Prime. 41, oh, Metroid Elder Prime Scrolls great. Skyrim. Mm. And 40, oh, you guys are going to fucking hate this. Oh it's Resident God, Evil 4. Oh. Mm. So there's 40 games better than Resident Evil 4. I'm trying not to wake up my next door neighbors. Yeah. Because <laughs> they will probably it will probably go like throughout the entire fucking neighborhood me screaming. Um, I'll go to 30 and then we'll do something else. 
Uh, 39 is Shadows mm -hmm. of Colossus. Oh, go fuck off. Fuck it, yeah. 30, 38, The Last of Us asshole. Part 2. Go uh, fuck yourself. Go fuck <laughs> off. What the fuck? This is bullshit. Last of Us this Part 2. This is bullshit. Two, is bullshit. I want to recount. is better than Resident Evil 4. Yep. Uh, I want to fucking recount. Uh, Red Vin Dead Rick. Redemption. 36, Metal uh, Metal Gear Solid. 35, Which Civilization one? 4. Probably the first one. Uh, the original. Wait, hold on. Metal Gear or Metal Gear Solid? Metal, Metal Gear Solid was 36. Okay. Metal Gear Solid's great. Uh, I love it. Fantastic uh, game. 35 was Sid Meier's Civilization 4. Twin Snakes, though? Twin Sid Snakes four. is the definitive way! Sid 4 okay. was a very popular one, but I can't... I don't yeah, know if I, I can put it in... Uh, the uh, community <laughs> thinks Civ 4 is one of the worst. Um, if I remember 34, correctly. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. 34? <laughs> that Go dropped, fuck yourself. Like, That's like that top fucking, 5 of all time. That dropped from the last time they had this list. That dropped like 36 spots. Yeah, that was in the, that was in the top like 3. That was like number um, 2. That's one of the biggest games of all time. Like, uh, no matter who you tell. Yep, 33 is Minecraft. What? What? <laughs> Minecraft beat out Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time? What the <laughs> shit? Uh, what? Um, number what thirty. Burn out three takedown via high spot. Oh my god. Um, no, number thirty three is number one. I'm just saying. Uh, thirty two is Halo, the original. Thirty one no, is Half Life. And thirty, which is a game we've talked about earlier. The, probably one of the biggest MMOs of all time now is Final Fantasy XIV at number 30. Okay, so, fair um, we'll do the rest later. Uh, James, what do you got? Pissed off. Zelda I'm being fucking, fucking pissed. Legitimately <laughs> pissed off right now. Yeah, I saw that. I was like, okay, okay. What? We'll go with it. What hey, let's, take, let's, let's take a look at the top 10 Metacritic score games from 2021. I believe this one a bit more. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, just a 10. little bit. Not, not fully, but... Oh, by the number way, 11... out, three takedowns, 95. It beat Final right, Fantasy go... 7. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> go fuck yourself, IGN. Okay, go ahead. Fucking shit. socks. Um, I have to put this on here, but uh, number 11 is Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, okay. But num number 10 is Psychonauts 2. Okay. Nine mm. is Final Fantasy fourteen Endwalker. Oh yeah. Forza Horizon five. All right. Yeah. Uh, number seven is Final Fantasy and fourteen Endwalker, the PS five version. Ooh. Sure. Uh, number six is Forza Horizon five, the Series X version. Right. Number I don't think that's fair. <laughs> well, hold your horses. Here we go. Number five is Hades on PS five. Number four is Hades on Series X. What the. F Fuck. <laughs> number three is Tetris Connected on the Switch. Hey. Um, uh, number two is the House of Faded Morgana Dreams of the Revenants Edition. For uh, That's number two. That. And number one is Disco Elysium Final Cut. Hold on. Let me see. What do we got here? I really uh, like again? Disco Elysium. Mm -hmm. It takes two is number 15 and 16. Is this like nice. the top 25 games of 2021 or whatever? Medic, These are the medic, high well, scores. So technically, technically, let me just keep all scrolling time. real quick. Let me just keep scrolling real yeah. quick. These yeah, are the top, top games of all time. Top hundred Metacritic games from 2021. Oh, let's see. What are some other like good ones here? Um, I'm so surprised. Disco Elysium got one now. <laughs> Death Stranding director's cuts 84th. Yeah. Shit, I haven't Jumping played the director's five, cut. Switch. <laughs> Is eighty three, Doki Doki Literature Club Plus is eighty one. <laughs> it's like oh, half these games I don't think I've even heard of. <laughs> Judgment is seventy seven. There you go. There you that, go, bud. That's just the that's just the uh, remaster of the well, not the remaster, but the Series X version of the uh, the Xbox Series X version of the game that came out like two years ago. <laughs> uh. Disco Elysium Final Cut was also number 71 for the Switch. <laughs> uh, Disco Elysium, the Final Cut, was 62 for PS4. Uh, Deathloop oh, yeah. was 60. Yakuza yeah. Like a Dragon was 
for PS5 was 57th. Uh, <laughs> Tales of the Arise, Halo Infinite's 51. Uh, Psychonauts 2 for the Series X is 44. Surprised uh, that beat out Halo. I'm glad it got, why, like, num- number 9. Why is Final Fantasy VII Remake integrated for PC-88? That game is a buggy mess on PC. Uh, this is like these things. Like I feel like these guys just take a dart and they just throw it on a <laughs> wall, and they're just like, "Yep, that'll work." Yeah, because I also I see Fez on here on a <laughs> Nintendo Switch. Fuck Phil That's Fish, a... by the way. He's a piece of shit, and I I'm glad he left the gaming industry. It's better without him. Yeah, I'm those not too the... much about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We don't have Phil Fish talking about how his terrible takes on game design is. Um, yeah, so uh, that was uh, that was the best games. I, I don't even want to say top ten. That was like the best like six games, <laughs> according to Metacritic. Five games according to Metacritic. <laughs> Another game that may chap your ass. I'm looking at this. Ninety one was Animal Crossing's New Horizons. Chat my ass. It's not. <sighs> At... well, okay, so if I have a, a chapped ass, what do I use to unchap it? Yeah, I was like, is there a chapstick for asses? Like ass stick? Yeah, it's called loot. Ass stick. That's what it's called. Ass stick. <laughs> but but that. butt stick. Oh, that's, that's crazy. Oh. Um, Careful. So you had the most Metacritic. Uh, Jet, do you want to do the? Um the overall according to games radar their top top 25 best games of the year yeah like little just drop-ins am i doing all of them or uh you said you wanted to split it more or less no uh, you can do them all just okay run through them really quick so 25. 25 unpacking game short little story i guess about it yeah. it's a game where you're just unpacking Unpacking. yeah it's yeah really what good. it is it's good it's uh, on game pass that was also on the list and there's a lot of indie style games on this list, actually. Um, the Forgotten City. Uh, the one, one from the uh, Elder Scrolls, uh, the Skyrim mod. Yeah. yeah. Um, number 23, Death's Door, which is kind of, it says basically offers equal parts of like a Kingdom Hearts, Legend of Zelda, and a Metrovania. Ah, Metroidvania. So it makes no sense like story wise. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, Wildermyth? Wildermyth? Yeah. Um, I've seen a game. I think I've seen you play this, Mark. Uh, Piff. Piff. Piff's okay. played it. Yeah. Yes. It's a little like a 2D esque uh, turn based combat game. Looks kind of fun. It's very different. Uh, number 21, Monster Hunter Rise. This is the Switch Monster, Monster Hunter, Hunter that Rise. a lot of people Good. had a love, love for. I never played it, I've been needing to. Uh, Eastward. It's a RPG, Earthbound. From what it says, the art style is very like eight bit esque. Um, Artful Escape at nineteen. I guess a uh, a platformer that's very much in playing guitar and psychedelic imagery is the little short description. Hey. Um, Solar Ash. Which is very much reminds me of. There's a game I can't think of that it reminds me of. Uh, got like almost a comic book esque. It's a platformer as well. There's lots of a lot of platformers and indie esque games coming out this year. Um, number seventeen, Age of Empires four. That was a big thing for a lot of people due to the fact that they kind of finally took a advantage of a lot of newer technology. Uh, Far Cry six, which. Actually, it was nice. really good. I was impressed by that game. I will say that I played. I had fun with it. It is not one of those games you can sit down and do, though. I will tell you that. You gotta have uh, it first. Gonna... Yeah, very much so. Uh, when uh, Mark popped up, this was also, I think, on your list of the type thing. was was uh, Forza Horizon 5. That was huge. It was mm-hmm. uh, definitely very big. And it's actually a really fun game. We definitely oh, yeah. play it. If you like cars, it's a blast. I mean, even if you just like driving around and seeing cool things, it's a great game. Mm-hmm. Um, Metroid Dread was number fourteen. You have to play uh, it. I'm getting there. Yeah, same. I'm yeah. not gonna play it. 2D esque. Same. I will. Not my, <laughs> not my cup of tea. 
game that this is the next game that I was actually willing to try. I heard about this from the small developer House Marquee, uh, Returnal. Oh, Returnal. Yeah, I've I was actually when I heard about this, it looked really good, and I was curious, and I know that this is like a small company who made it, and it blew up, and it's they won. Didn't they win Game of the Year at the no, awards? No, they won. Um... They won something. They yeah. It takes two one. It takes game two of the year one because... game of the year. That's right. But and now they're being sued. Joseph Ferris. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, it just looks really cool. The game looks awesome. Very fast paced. Uh, the next one, which is, I think James might be a little salty about this one due to the fact that uh, when we talked about this, this was in the Game of the Year awards that made no fucking sense. Uh, number twelve, Kenna Bridge of Spirits. Okay. That was hey, that it's one. Great. That would be... It's a good game, but I've heard, and it beat out somebody. I don't remember who it was. We were all watching it, a part of our um, Discord stuff, and it just pissed us off. That video is oh, right. on patreon.com slash level unlock podcast, by the way. Yes. If you want to watch it. Um, Any and tier? then 11 is Life of Strange, which Life I'm quite strange. shocked. Life is, yeah, sorry, Life is Strange. My bad. True Colors. I think it was a, was it a separate game or a DLC? I don't Separate remember. game. Separate it's game. Like an, yeah, it's a sequel to uh, two. Another uh, one. <laughs> another and then, one. And then number 10, which a lot of people thought was going to be terrible due to the fact of how bad Avengers did. Uh, Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, people were worried because that game was so bad of the Avengers that this was going to be bad as well. But this, from what I was told, was actually a really good game. Yeah, it was completely, completely changed it. Yeah, because yeah. it was a story-based, because... not like a... I mean... Yeah. Anthem like Destiny esque. Yeah. And now because of that they're releasing the Wolverine. Yes. Oh jeez. Uh, no. Number nine different companies, completely different companies working on it. This <laughs> well, is, uh, Wolverine's Insomniac. Yeah. Or whatever. Which is to make Spider Man, which is the mm-hmm. it's a very high ceiling there. Um sure. the number nine, which is one that gave, was really big, I think, towards the beginning of the year slash middle of the year of Valheim. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Um was yeah, it's great. They've been game. updating it a bunch. Yeah. Yeah. Been meaning to go back to it. And then, as we just talked about, who won Game of the Year, number eight on this list is It Takes Two, which is a game that me and Jeremy have now been working on for almost three months that we saved. Came <laughs> off <to> finish. <laughs> yeah. How cute. Um, that was number eight. And then, That's this the is where I was a little. Two experience. <laughs> Pretty much. It really does take two, and it's hard to get the two. Um, <laughs> number seven. Which I was shocked for this to be this like not or too not low enough. It needs to be better in this list. Is uh, Resident Evil Seven or Resident Evil Eight Village? This is number seven on the list yeah. <laughs> of top fifty good. games. It, uh, it, it was fell a off. I thought. Game. I thought it fell off hard near the end, but it fell off hard in the middle and then kicked itself back up at the yeah. end. It did have some slow mini middle mediation right there. Uh, this is one. These are two games in a row that I am quite or no, this one not as much. This game, which I've never even heard of, it's called Chicory: The Colorful Tale. It's a side scroller where you basically walk around and you paint a children's Ooh. like coloring book esque looking. So, uh, okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, pretty neat. And that beat out Resident Evil as well as it takes two. Um, number five, which I was expecting to be in the top five because it was such a big release, was Halo Infinite. Um, since that was such a big thing and so many people were ready for that one. Number four, Hitman 3. This is where I was quite shocked that this was the sign up on the list. Um, it's a great game. Like, uh, I have no complaints about it whatsoever. It's really good. That's just as good, though. And then number three, Psychonauts 2. Psychonauts 2 is so uh, good. I have yet to play it, but it's on, it's on the list. <laughs> yeah, same. Um, this one is one that I definitely am going to play probably sooner rather than later. Uh, another S game like Psychonauts and that style of console pr- specific on those is Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. It's that was number two. Phenomenal. Yeah, it was number two. It's Sorry. phenomenal. It's honestly a reason to buy a PS5. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to probably play it just to test it out. If you number yeah, one buy the which... system you can't buy. Oh, I already have it. So it's okay. Yeah, well, yeah. I mean, but I'm talking about everyone else. Yeah, got the hard The unlucky, pe- yeah, the, you know, the yeah. peasants, the peasants, the peasants out there. <laughs> <laughs> and number one, this one was quite shocking, but um, I know Mark said he had a wonderful time in this game, which is Death Loop. 
Uh, yes, but it's not number one material for me, in my opinion. Like it's okay. it's probably closer to a ten in my in my opinion. Like it's good, but there it got really stale. But yeah, that's that's, that's just my my like, two cents. I feel like the concept alone for it, like it just kind of show it's the concept of it by itself just speaks to me that it's going to taper off. After yeah, it's, it's it gets old. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's cool. Like the idea that you're gonna keep looping through the same day, it's like, oh wow, that's neat. I can do whatever. But at one point, you're gonna do the same things over and over again because you have to. And yeah. that, it's almost like a rope. That, yeah, that's what really kind of turned me off. Is that after you start figuring out the missions and stuff, you're like, okay, I gotta do this stuff and this stuff, and then go to this place and do this and this, and it just it, it wasn't what I wanted in that in that regard. Like I, it, it was just way too limited. That that's my two cents, <laughs> but pretty pretty neat that I got got first there. Um, good shit. Uh, because I know you have other lists, James. I'll do ten more on mine. Uh, number twenty nine is Doom, the original. Number twenty eight was the original Tetris. Number twenty seven, Metal Gear yeah, Metal Gear Solid Three Snake Eater. That is Why? low for me. That deserves um, to be higher on the list. Number twenty six, Half Life, Half Life, Alex. Uh, number twenty five, the PlayStation Four, God of War. Um, that that makes sense. That was a really good game. Yeah. Um, uh, one game of the year. Uh, number twenty four, Chrono Trigger. Mm, that deserves to <laughs> be higher. <laughs> number twenty three, Portal. Number 22, um, Street Fighter uh, 2. Number 21, Super Mario Bros. Like That's and, fucking low! Uh, yeah, the like, original Super I Mario Bros. I expected that in top 10. Yeah. Um, What's well, 9 plus 10? Super Mario Bros. Exactly. <laughs> Love you, James. Um... Super Fucking Smash Bros. Bullshit. Ultimate was 87. So there's that. Um, and number 20 oh. is Undertale. Oh, go fuck off and die. <laughs> go fuck off. Yep, that's there ain't 20. no way. I think on I God's know the green kind of person earth, that wrote this. <laughs> on God's green earth, on God's green flat earth, that Chrono Trigger is worse than fucking Sans Undertale. <laughs> no Not way. Because of the meme that blew up. Honestly. No fucking way. Undertale Y'all is, just don't understand. Undertale like, deserves please. to be on this list. Hundred percent guaranteed. I suffered through it. It was fine. But my God. That should not be anywhere near that. It that should amount, not though. be that high. It is yeah. a very be decent. Like 80s, I would say. I would say seventies. It is a good bootleg Earthbound and Mother game. It is a yeah. good bootleg. But to put it in such... What number was it? 21? No, 20? 20. 20. It was 20. 20? Yeah, to put it in such high regards to beat Ahead out, of Mario Brothers. To beat out <laughs> Mario Brothers, um, Metal Gear I'm Solid 3, Metal Gear thing. Solid, Chrono Trigger, Final Fantasy 16, Final Fantasy 7, uh, Hello Link, Kitty uh, Island Adventures, Hello Kitty one. Island Adventure, like Jesus fucking Christ, mate, like yep. get oh. off of it, like it's not that this. great of a game, it's not the best <laughs> thing since sliced fucking bread, all right, like Grand Theft Auto it is okay, play a, <laughs> probably say Grand Theft Auto 5. Oh my god, if they say Grand Theft Auto 5, I am fucking quitting. As their number one, yep. <laughs> I am going to quit. Well, I checked There's the top... Side, uh, Cyberpunk 2077. <laughs> yeah, it's, um... Grand Theft Auto 5 is not in the bottom... It's not 5200, so we'll see. <laughs> we haven't gotten to it yet, so here we are. Yeah, yeah and I, I checked the other side, too. I was like, well, maybe it's in the top. The only San Andreas is 66. That's, uh... San Andreas is 66. God, I'm afraid that the number one's going to be GTA 5. It's going to be GTA 5. It is going to be. No, it's going to be GTA 5 or Mario 64. They have a huge hard on for Mario 64. Counter Strike Global Offensive. Oh, no. <laughs> fucking. No, Counter Strike. Okay, Source was better. Fucking at it right now. 
CS Source was a I better game. I'm not, I'm not fighting with you. I think to, I think Source is better too. <laughs> um, what else you got, James? All right. Now that my blood pressure is spiked <laughs> to unsafe <laughs> levels, let's take a look at Metacritic's worst games of 2021. Uh, number ten at a pretty high 49. We have Necromunda, the hired gun. Uh, it's an FPS set in Warhammer 40k universe. Uh, it comes from the French studio behind Space Hulk Deathwing. Uh, it was pretty meh. It had a lot of technical flaws on launch. <laughs> uh, number n- nine is Demon Skin for PC with a 48. Uh, it's a challenging indie hack and slash slash RPG hybrid released in the spring. Demon Skin is set in a dark fantasy world filled with monsters ranging from zombinis to werewolves and golems. Uh, critics described it as Dark Souls shoehorned in, uh, into the skin of a 2D brawler. Uh, right. Number eight is Arkham Horror Mother's Embrace for PC at a lowly 48. Uh, loose basically <laughs> off of the Lovecraftian board game Arkham Horror. And its follow-up, set in the nineteen or in the nineteen twenty set, Mother's Embrace, doesn't attempt to duplicate the original gameplay, but instead creates a new blend of RPG strategy, turn-based combat, and investigation as you attempt to identify the murder of an astronomy professor. Uh, critics feel that Asmondee's game pales in comparison to the original thanks to its simplistic gameplay and uninspired story and a lack of replayability. I thought you were going to say D's nuts. I was like, I was, I was I about to say that it. actually the company's name is Asmondi. <clears throat> I like it. Asmondi's nuts. Asmondi's nuts. Uh, number seven is I saw black clouds on PS4 with a 48, uh, an interactive suspenseful thriller, or supernatural thriller, sorry, that marks the game debut from Ghost Dog Films. I saw Black Clouds as a full motion video game that utilizes actual live action footage, and they talk about um, FMV games. Uh, it's not good. Uh, <laughs> apparently, it's shallow, incoherent, and amateurishly filmed. Amateurishly filmed. Uh, number six is Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy, the definitive edition for the Switch out of 47. Do what? I even need to talk about why that has what? such a low rating? Oh, okay. I was like, I think this, I was like, this, I thought this was Walker's list for a second. Oh, no, 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 no. no. Oh, my God. No, that would be horrible. Maybe the original, but uh, (laughs) number five is Birds uh, of Birds of Bird and Cage for PC at a 44. Uh, Sure, get some uh, credit for being the year's only heavy metal album disguised as a two hour, two hour interactive story loosely based on the Beauty and the Beast. (laughs) <laughs> uh, but retold here in an especially dark version centering on a drug addict. Uh, but as Screen Rants put it, quote, just because a game is unique doesn't necessarily mean that it's worth playing. And many critics uh, that Cage's story has less depth than the average music video and that the game's interactivity barely registers. Yikes. Uh, number, t- number four is Taxi Chaos for PS4 at a 42. A blatant clone of Sega's Crazy Taxi, Team 6's Taxi Chaos may be priced like a casual game it is, or like the casual game it is, uh, but that still might be too much to pay for a simplistic, unoriginal unoriginal arcade-style racer. I like it. Uh, Number three is Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood for PS4 out of 42, uh, hailing from the French studio behind Pro Cycling Manager series. Our Earthblood is based on the World of Darkness tabletop RPGs. The stealth-slash-action-slash-RPG game tasks you with playing as Kahil, Kahel, a werewolf who is in, uh, enraged by pollution and seeks revenge against an oil company. <laughs> pollution! Yeah. Uh, Earth, Earthblood was met by pit, middling re- to poor reviews at launch in February when critics failed uh, or faulted the game's Overly repetitive nature, superficial storytelling, and dated gameplay. Uh, number two is Balan Wonderworld for the Switch of 36. Um, it's bad. There's a lot wrong with the game. I'm not even going to go into it. Um, and number one is eFootball 2022 for PC at a wonderful 25%. I heard that was uh, really trash. The best things in life are free <laughs> is a statement that apparently doesn't apply to video games. Konami's 20-year-old pro soccer franchise, once considered to be best in the genre, got a complete overhaul 
in 2021, switching to a free-to-play model and adopting a new name, among other changes. But eFootball's September launch was a legendary disaster. Critics and players noted laughable, embarrassing graphics, incoherent and lethargic gameplay, and a severe lack of content. By one measure, it's the worst-reviewed game on Steam in the storefront's history. Here's a quote (laughs) from Screen Rant's review. Quote, It's a buggy, unenjoyable mess with limited gameplay options that strip back the core strengths of the PES series. And the fact that it was released in this state at all is shocking. Konami may bring uh, fixes as it implements further free-to-play updates, but even then, the question over eFootball 2022's worth will still need to be repeatedly asked. When you have to ask yourself, is this free-to-play game worth it? You know it's bad. (laughs) That's a rough one. Yeah. That's fucking funny. Yeah. This game is free-to-play, and it's still fucking shit. It's not worth it. What's this game that cost me no money worth it? Not worth anything. Not worth my time. It's even worth less than my time at this point. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, um, dude. Uh, let's talk about the 20 to 10. Oh, uh, number Here 19 is Bloodborne. Number 18, the original Bioshock. Okay. Bioshock number 17, The Last of Us. Okay, I love The Last of Us. Numbers, Good game. Number 16, The Witcher 3. Okay. That's number 15, Halo 2. Okay. Sure. Number 14, Castlevania Symph- Symphony of the Night. Sure. Number 13 is Hades. Okay. We're in the clear. Number 12, Grand Theft Auto 5. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, I really didn't want to quit, but I would have to go on my... Uh, I, would, I would actually have to to do that if this was a thing uh, uh and yeah, yeah no it doesn't deserve there. to be that high anywhere near that high no yeah not even close um like maybe upper 80s the the quote is no game sells 155 Who million copies by accident cares That's what yes it, <laughs> it is by accident because children buy it to rp Yep. That's why it fucking sold. It didn't sell because the game's good. It sold because the modding community's great, i.e. Yeah. Bethesda games. It sold under the Bethesda <laughs> um, games logic. And Except Fallout New Vegas. 11, that was fantastic. Uh, is Super Mario Bros. 3, which I agree okay. with. That was my favorite yeah. one. Yeah, Super Mario Bros. 3 is better than the original. Um, who else got stuff? You got more, James? No, I, I have nothing else. I have a little bit of a list just to kind of put on some things. It's like some okay. of the top. It says the 25 best Steam games you can play right now. Let's fucking go. Um, go to just gonna quick run through it. I'm not gonna go into details about the names. Uh, number 25, Terraria, makes sense. Um, number 24, Persona 4 Golden. Hell yeah. Uh, number 23, City Skylines. I agree with that. Uh, <laughs> number 22, Dota 2. Uh, number twenty-one, Warframe makes sense for hell you. yeah. Love uh, Warframe. Number twenty, Monster Hunter World. As we're talking about Monster Hunters earlier. Number nineteen, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. Hell which yeah, was a really good game. Um, number eighteen, Death Stranding again. Hell yeah. Hey. Uh, number seventeen, Crusader Kings three. Hell yeah! Um, the next one is going to be a disappointment. Number 16, GTA 5. Hell no! <laughs> Number 15, Doom Eternal. Hell yeah. There's a lot of good ones on this one. Yeah, there's uh, some bangers. 14... I like this list more than fucking one Walker has. <laughs> right? Number 14, Stardew Valley. Oh yeah, I love um, Stardew Valley. I don't know, like, eight times. <laughs> Number 13, Journey. Journey's Heard great. Heard it, never played it. Um... Hey, and, and James, it's... gotta love it. Number 12, Final Fantasy 14. Hell yeah. If you can get into a queue. If you can get into um... it. You can't buy it, but if you already own it, <laughs> hell yeah. Yeah. Well, no, then um... this list is immediately wrong. Because it says the best Steam games you can buy. You can't buy 14 right now. That is true. So this oh, list is null and void. A little while ago. N- <laughs> this is null and void. There was only one bad one so far. <laughs> In its defense. The next one is questionable. I do say it's a fun game to play. Uh, number 11, Apex Legends. Um, number 10, Hollow Knight. 
I don't like Hollow Knight. Number nine, Dishonored oh, Two. Great game. Uh, number eight, Return of Obra Din. I hear that's really yeah. good. I uh, I played about two ish hours into it. I watched. Um, it's better to watch gameplay of, in my opinion, than to actually play because it's really complicated. But it's a it's made by the same people that made Paper P- Papers Please, and you're oh. solving a, a mystery of a, a murder on a ship. Nice. nice. It's really, uh, really, really cool. Number seven is a questionable one, but I, I mean, my in my opinion, it's a, a lot of fun. Is Destiny two? Um, it's a lot better six, after Activision got a hold of it. Got the grubby low mitts off. Been a minute since I've played it. It's a lot mm-hmm. of fun. I always recommend Man. it. Number six, Kentucky Route Zero. I hear that's really good. Okay. Number five, which is actually probably my top ten of games of all time, is XCOM Two. Um, that's just because I'm obsessed with that like turn-based strategy style. Yeah, if I play that um, game for too long, my heart will explode because of how angry I get. <laughs> oh yeah, the part of the death system makes fuck it like an annoying. Did you miss a ninety-nine percent shot? Are you joking right now? <laughs> On my gun my list, speaking my... of... <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead, James. No, go ahead. Uh, I was going to say, my it's barrel so is funny. right in front of this uh, this my alien. My barrel is in this motherfucker's chest. Why do I only like, have a 75% no. <laughs> chance? <laughs> yes. It's bullshit. Uh, they had um, it's XCOM 2 rated at 65. It and it's tired. wrong. It really is. Yeah, <laughs> that yeah that's like, I don't shit. think we could ever talk about that. Li- I mean, yeah, yeah, I don't know if we could talk about IGN anymore. No, sure. we can't. They're <laughs> fucking late. They're just wrong. They don't. They haven't <laughs> played a video Played game old rug in we'll years. Oh. Number four, Into the Breach, looks kind of fun. Oh yeah, I hear that's really, really good. It. You'd probably like um, it if you like the uh, like turn based. Yeah, I think uh, I might like, like the turn, strategy kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, number three, which is in my top, probably top ten on video games of all times as well, is The Witcher 3, which makes sense. Mm-hmm. Such a good game. Um, if you have GOG, two, it's free like all the goddamn time. Seriously, yeah. though. Um, and then number two, Divinity Original Sin 2. I know that that one was a huge game that just everybody fell in love with. Better and then also. number one, Red Dead Redemption Go. 2. I've never I would fallen that off a game. One. I've wasn't, never wasn't fallen favorite. off a game. Yeah. I like so the first quickly. one better. So yeah, on that list, I will say all that was pretty good, except maybe two of those games. Yeah. Other than that, and one of them, like actually, you is wrong now. This is true. One of them is straight up. You can't <laughs> get on Steam anymore. Yeah, I think I think the one biggest things that I, I disagree with is I agree GTA Five should be on this list, but. Because it's so popular, like you said, with the modding community, and then the other one, which was number one, which is the fucking um, Red Dead Redemption Two. I think it should be in like top ten, but not not number one. Uh, yeah. Thirty minutes. That's all I lasted on Red Dead Redemption Two. Yeah, I, I think I played how... maybe an hour or two, and then set up a, a Red M server, which is the five M version of the the server, and I was like, all right, cool, I'm done. <laughs> I'm over this. We're done. I was well. It's just. It was sure. it's a it was strenuous to play. For, like it was mm-hmm. just irritating to do anything. Like yeah. fucking riding your horse. Why does that have to be such a hassle? I just want to hold down a button and let me go. Like why? It was what, too uh, realistic. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine, but it's to the point where it's just like kind of annoying. Why? Does, <laughs> why can't I skip the skinning the animal animation? Yes. Yeah, exactly. Like I don't want to see that eight, 80 times. Or skip um, any animations or cutscenes yeah. or oh yeah. for the immersion Somebody for the realism. Like it's like bitch. Yeah, let me play my game how I want. Pick, yeah. Just give let me, me the option. Let me pick how I want my immersion. Please. I jumped yeah. off a cliff and I'm totally fine. Like get the fuck yeah. out of here with realism bullshit. Yeah, I fucking jumped on a moving train and blew it up. Yeah, yeah. fuck you and your immersion. <laughs> I respawned. <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> uh, Jeremy, you want to continue with yours? Yeah. So well, okay, first here we I'll go. Do... Before I get to that, do... how angry is me and me and uh, um, James going to be by the end of this episode? <laughs> well, first I'll run through a Already quick list a of most red. anticipated games of 2022. Uh, starting with Pokemon Legends Arceus, um, Arceus. Arceus comes out uh, January 28th. Oh my god! No, I didn't yeah. know it came Less out that early. Shit! 
Yeah, like yeah, three very weeks. Soon. Four weeks. You better ask oh, your time guess off, I'm gonna, James. Guess I'm going to be streaming a lot to get rid of either Tales of the Arise or Lost Judgment. <laughs> um, Dying Light 2, Stay Human, oh. February 4th. I'm so excited Stay for human. that. I've been waiting for friggin' seven years for that game. Uh, um, Horizon Forbidden West, February 18th. Uh, probably the most anticipated game because it's won it 15 times is Elden Ring on February 25th. If that actually comes out on February 25th. Yeah. So far, everyone, if, despite all the delays, it looks like it's going to. We'll, so we'll see. Um, a lot, a lot of games. Stranger of Paradise, Final Fantasy Origin, March 18th. It's Final Fantasy Dark Souls. It's not good. Yeah, it looks At least horrible. the beta or the alpha wasn't. Um, uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderland, March 25th. Um, I'm actually cause... excited for that because those Tiny Tina things are fun. That like drives yeah, be cool. Cool. It's actually a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Forspoken, May 24th. Uh, the, the New Saints Row, August 23rd. Uh, Starfield, November 11th. That makes um, sense. Hey, I can play Starfield. Yeah. Be able to play. Um, Sweet. Uh, I don't know why I did this, but it went back to February. Uh, Lego Star Wars: The Skywalker Saga. Um, Is that? Ev- the... I don't think that's coming out. Supposedly, it's not coming um, out. It's the Lego. It's every single Lego Star Wars yeah. game. Yeah, it's not coming um... out. I guarantee it's not coming out on that day because they've been they pushed that game back for like two years. Yeah, um, it was supposed to be a launch March... title for the Series X and PS5. Yep, I remember that. It's fucking crazy to think about. Not so much anymore. Uh, March Kirby's Kirby and the Forgotten oh, Land. Oh, I can't wait for that. James is so hyped about that. When is it? James is so hyped um, about that. It's in March. March? Okay. Good it doesn't March. give me a date. Um, in November, uh, you have Lord of the Rings Golem. Um, Golem? I've seen some gameplay of that. It actually, looks Golem. Good. The it's about the the my precious. Uh. Ooh. So when are, we doing the, when are we doing the uh, Lord of the Rings watchathon? Let's do it. Where we just I'm take an entire I'm weekend with that shit. I where we watch so like The Hobbit it. and Lord of the Rings in yep. one setting. Um, Get your piss bottles ready. I'm going to take that weekend off because I'm going to get some rest <laughs> after watching yeah. these fucking movies. Especially if we're using like extended edition movies. <laughs> oh god. Um, <laughs> we're going to be here for like 12 hours. Yeah. <laughs> Potentially for November 2022 the full remake of Dead Space. This I'm actually excited about. Yeah, as well. I'm excited for that too. Um if it's anything uh, like Resident Evil 2 remake, oh uh slated for the end of the year, a Plague Tale Requiem. <laughs> Plague Tale Innocence is um, really good. Uh also slated for the end of the year in December to along to go with the release of the movie Avatar Frontiers of Pandora. I was gonna um, say I was gonna ask you, I was like, is it fucking a Super Mario Bros game? That, no. <laughs> that would be better. That would be better. Um, who's who's making this the... Avatar game? Is it another Ubisoft? Ubisoft. Game? Okay. Ubisoft. They have the rights Ubisoft to Ubisoft it. has their fingers in so many things right now. So, <laughs> so the original Avatar world. game was not bad. It was not a bad game. It was yeah, the, the well, yeah James Cameron's Avatar it game is good. Creed reskinned Avatar. Oh no, it's definitely going to be that. Hundred percent guaranteed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, in some, some way, shape, or form. It's going to be Far Cry, but Avatar. Yeah. yeah. Assassin's I'm, Cry. I'm assuming Assassin's more like Cry. Assassin's Creed because it's an open world concept where you run around and you can attack animals and fight people. So, Assassin's, yeah, Assassin's, yeah, Assassin's, Assassin's, Assassin's Creed, Creed or Far Cry or yeah. you know, The Division or... Um, basically the last four times. Also like... s- uh, slated for uh, October or November release, uh, Bayonetta 3. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then about that one, bud. three unconfirmed games, but slated for 2022, supposedly. Uh, Breath of Wild 2. End of year, God of War Ragnarok. 2025 is going to be fucking. Um, gonna be Zelda. God of War uh, Ragnarok. Um, Gotham Knight. Game. Uh, slated for end of year release 2022, Hogwarts Legacy, the open world RPG where you're a student at Hogwarts. That was announced like five years, years ago. ago. Yeah. Well, so it's was Avatar. 
And yeah, but Avatar is it's, its own thing. We already knew it was going to be like 20 years before we got another yeah. one. Um, slated for the end of the year with no release date, despite having one before. Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. And then, That's last but not least, squad. the most... I think it's Zomniac most... making that one, yeah. too, aren't they? I didn't think so. No. Or was it the other company that made Guardians Insom of the Galaxy? Uh, it's the one who made the Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, Squeenix. Um, Squ some Squeenix and company. The most anticipated game that hasn't been talked about, uh, potentially released for 2022, which probably not, Zelda Breath of the Wild 2. Ha! <laughs> we said it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, it's not coming out for a couple more years. Nah, I definitely not. And yeah, a year, I'd say. And now, say maybe 2024 early. IGN's <sighs> most accurate list of all time. The top 10 games in history of video games. <laughs> number I'm just 10. Happy fucking GTA 5's out of it. That's all I want to say. Yeah. Um, oh, it's Rocksteady 10. that's making Suicide Squad oh, kill the Justice League. The company made uh, the uh, Arkham games. Mm. Oh, nice. Yeah. Ooh, that um, actually make a lot more wanting of that. Uh, number 10, Disco Elysium. Sure, it was good. Uh, number 2, Half Life. I mean, not number 2, sorry. Number 9, Half Life 2. Number okay. eight. <laughs> number I don't eight. See the Red, of them, but okay. Yeah, Red Dead Redemption two. And number Jesus eight. Jesus fucking Christ! Get off a of rock. Dude, what is up dick. with their dick sucking of Red Dead Redemption yeah. two? It's probably because um, of the horse testicles. Someone probably yeah. someone got like had to work fifty hours a week, sixty hours a week, uh, eighty hours a week to build those horse dicks. Probably the biggest shocker at number seven. Super Mario sixty four. That dropped. Wow. I'm pretty sure that was like number two All last right. time. I'm racking number... my brain here trying to think of what number one is. Number yeah, six. Mass Effect 2. That's. It's, it's got to be like Doom 64. Or, number or Doom five. Doom. No, it's going to be like KOTOR. Um, number five. Wait. Super Metroid. Okay. Sure. Not my cup of tea. Number, okay. number four. The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. Wow. I mean, I yeah, I'm, I'm going to press F to doubt on that one. Yeah. Yeah, so. I would say that should be, or Ocarina of Time should be a that, that should be, uh, the, it's really close. They should be close together. Yeah. yeah. They should be real close together because they're both equally masterpieces. Yeah. Uh, what if Majora's Mask's number one? Let's just, what if they throw you a curveball? Uh, they just throw us a nice big old curveball. That Wind Waker. Uh, number three, Portal Two. I wouldn't say number yeah. three, but I would say it's definitely a top. Like, trying to block so I don't see it. Top twenty-five. <laughs> I, I just spoiled number one for me, but number right. two, Super Mario World. Okay. Okay. Okay, and... so let's, what what do you th guys what do you think actually think number one is? Well, because hmm. like, I guarantee if Jeremy said a hint, I can guarantee I can jump it right off of that. Uh, Jeremy, I, need a, I need a slight hint here. Well, it's give me a it's console. Fucking Lego games. Star Wars. It's got two <laughs> games in the top ten. Oh, it's Majora's Mask. Or the original yeah. Legend of Zelda. No, oh, no, 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 they don't have that. Wild. Never mind. Never mind. Fuck, it could be Breath of the Wild. People love Breath of the Wild. Um, give me a console. Nintendo. Oh, it's, 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 it's Legend of Zelda it's something. Fucking, it's yeah. one of the Legend of Zelda games. And the number one game, according to IGN of, of all time, is Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I knew it. As soon as, as, soon as you said mm. the thing, I was like, it's Breath of the Wild. It's Gary. It's Breath of the Wild. That is the number one game, according to IGN. Of all Breath time? Of, uh, of, all, of time. all time. It's a good game, but I can't. Even me, who's a huge diehard Zelda fan. I Wind Waker was better. Yeah, Wind Waker was <laughs> a lot better. According to the review, I love Legend Breath of the Wild. I will say it was. I liked it too, but like, I'm um, comparing the two, Wind Waker, I, it was more of a polished experience, in my opinion. I'm a little biased because um, I fucking hated Breath of the Wild. <laughs> I, I, I tried picking it up like three and times and I couldn't. Um, 
but yeah, that's the uh, um <laughs> everyone is basically according to the comments. Um this is bullshit. Breath of the Wild is an amazing game, but I certainly wouldn't call it the greatest game of all time. No. That's a little far fetched. No. Uh no. next comment, Breath of the Wild is overrated. Uh mm -hmm. it's funny nice James. that Br <laughs> that's that, me. That uh, Breath Big of Wild, no. 69 here. Um, Breath of the Wild was the first game that clicked for me, but certainly not the greatest game of all time. It was the first game that clicked for me? What the fuck does yeah. that mean? I was like, like, yeah. seven. It was like um, the game clicked or like the position clicked. You're like, oh yeah, that's definitely number one, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Zelda Ocarina of Time better than Breath of the Wild. Yes, yeah. I agree on that. Uh, That's right. my number on one, on this list which is why all. I have the tattoo all on my arm. Um, do you guys remember last time Animal Crossings was in the top 50? Now it's one of the worst. <laughs> That's funny. Um, I realize that IGN a has a hard on for Nintendo, but there's a lot of games that are better. <laughs> That's good. I mean, Nintendo's a classic. To me... The best I love Resident Evil. I will stay say that Ocarina of Time is probably my favorite <laughs> of all time. I feel like this list has a lot of strong bias. Oh, definitely. Hey, Fucking Undertale, bud. Yep. Fucking Undertale. Memes. A 20. Uh, better than Mario. The first fucking Mario, bud. Yeah. <laughs> this list Fucking is high, good. dude. Yep. <laughs> Seriously, though. But yeah, that's pretty funny. Yeah, the... I would the, take the Burnout 3 over not... fucking Undertale being at 20. <laughs> so, that's uh, that's the IGN's greatest of all time, according to IGN. IGN was so. a fucking sham before, and now they're like a double sham. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yep. They just, they're like just the wrong. They're just wrong. Yep. Jesus um Christ. but I don't have anything else. I, I don't know if at that point. No. Um so I guess kind of going around just kind of do a quick like review like what was your guys' favorite game personally for the year? At least that you played or that we played or came out this year. Uh both. Um start with you Jet. Um this year for me I think it falls into both categories. Um Resident Evil Village but that was just because I had so much hype for it because how much I actually really loved Resident Evil 7. And I know a lot of people didn't like it as much due to the fact that they realized they went back to the horror side of things instead of run and gun and having some Leon slides. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. um, I think that was on both of those for me. But if I'd have to say another game, it would definitely be Resident Evil Village and It Takes Two for me. Because It Takes Two is actually a really good game and I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Yeah, that's fun. Uh, uh, James. Yeah. Um, it's kind of a a toss up between three games, honestly. Um, all came out this year. All the games that I've honestly spent just tons of time playing. Um, it would be Halo Infinite, Forza Five, Forza Horizon Five, and then uh, Tales of the Ari Tales of Arise. All three of them phenomenal games. Those those are definitely my bangers for the year. This is coming from someone who loves Yakuza, and I didn't even put Lost Judgment on there. <laughs> or Resident Evil, Mr. Resident or Evil. Or Resident Evil. Evil, yeah, exactly. Walker, what about you? Um, well, it didn't come out this year, but I played it for the first time this year. It was Spider-Man. Um, well, I, I played it when it first came out, but forgot and then picked it back up this year. Um, I really like that game. Uh, in terms of games that really came out this year, I don't really have... I didn't play a lot. I liked Forza. That was cool. Um, Phasmophobia, I know that didn't come out this year, but... Um, that game has been a fun one this year, for sure. Um, probably my ultimate favorite, too, is going to be Back for Blood. Um, we all really enjoyed that i'm a huge uh, left for dead fan so um i was super stoked that they came out with that um that and at least for me the game that i played the most deep rock galactic um 
I probably, I think most of us, I think this year, I'm trying to think of another game that we put more hours into. Like I, last. I'd honestly say between Fads and Deep Rock, uh, the two games that we've been playing a lot. More, I know, like, of. not not last year, like 2021, like but Jackbox. like 2020, 2020. I think even 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 le- leading into 2021 was Call of Duty. Like we all played that constantly every night and um, no one's bought in the new call of duty i know which is fucking hilarious to think about um that was kind of like Activision. the staple we all played um modern warfare and then we all bought um black ops, black ops and then we haven't bought the new which is fucking hilarious um just not a good game but i will say deep rock is probably my most favorite that we played so far um my at least side thing, my favorite gamer moment for me was me playing The Sims 4. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. oh <laughs> Jesus Christ. The whole freaking city. So the, the, that Walker, was probably you, one of the... Do you, still want, do you still want those things for the sex mod? Do you want me to send you uh, a link? <laughs> I actually, well, because I bought the, um, uh, the Star Wars mods. To, oh, not the mods, but... Um, Engineer. Yeah, so I'm down. That, yeah, I was about to say um, that didn't answer my question. So that's true. But yeah, no, I'm down. But yeah, fucking. Uh, when it was all said and done, when I died, I had uh, 67 children. Oh, Jesus, man. achievement! You could have done two more. <laughs> well, I died on a treadmill. Just done two so. more. <laughs> oh yeah, you um, you you died, and then you were you quickly logged out, and then the yep. next day or a couple days later, you got back in. You're like, yeah, I'm just waiting for my guy to die. You're like, he's not going to bed. You deleted his bed so he couldn't die in his sleep, which is how he died last time. Because <laughs> he fucking it be, yeah, thing popped up that he was in his eternal rest. I was like, fuck that shit. I was like, nope. <laughs> I was like, that's not how we're going out. Children, man. I was like, that's not how we're going out. A lot out. of fucking children. And it just killed him. <laughs> yep. And then I had all a the fucking, birthday all the party with, with um, invited as many of my children as I could. That was a good time. <laughs> I outlived all my girlfriends, and then my girlfriend's daughters became my girlfriend, and it was just a whole thing. Terrible. It was crazy. <laughs> it was a whole thing. Yeah, it's a whole thing. Don't worry about it, you know. It's... <laughs> that just the concept, but it was that that was that was fun. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> that was Christ. a good time. Uh, what about you, Mark? Um. I don't know. Probably my favorite game this year that came out was uh, Hitman Three. Um, you can get all three of the Hitmans in in one game. It's really polished. It's good to get. It's uh, good fun. Um, a game that did come out this year that probably is worth an honorable mention that I've been enjoying quite a bit that I didn't really expect was uh, Luigi's Mansion Three. How is that? I've been meaning to pick what? it up. I like it a lot. Uh, I had never played the first one, so I didn't really know what to expect. Um, no expectations whatsoever, but I'm really enjoying it. So I nice. uh, figured I'd mention it. <laughs> now, Mark, <laughs> how excited for the uh, James Bond game that IO Interactive's making? How, uh, are you excited for it? I don't know. The, the Quantum of Solace game was really shitty. Um, the I think there was a Skyfall game. I didn't play it, but yeah. apparently it didn't do very well either. Um, so I don't have any expectations for it. Uh, that's really a better thing for it is that the James Bond franchise has been in such a limbo for such a long time that I think a lot of the resources go towards, you know, the name and all that sort of stuff in comparison to actually making it a good game um, where, yeah, but, you know, older titles, it was like that. <laughs> but I, I, I mean, I think the Hitman devs are the perfect devs for a new James Bond. Oh yeah. I totally forgot about that part. Um, yeah, I, I, at that point, like, I'm just not exactly sure what route they're going to take. Like, I'm so used to Hitman being, you know, a third third person, you know, action, adve- action adventure, explorey kind of, you know, assassination kind of game. But, like, I don't think there's any James Bond games that were ever done in third person in that kind of regards, in that same way. Or uh, even in yes, third person in general. Not, not really. Yeah, there's been a few in third person. The quantum of solace game on ps2 was hmm. um and then i think there was one other one that could be wrong but pretty much everything yeah, after it, goldeneye was first person yeah it's, i hope it uh 
in order to fuck it up. <laughs> Hope it isn't cyberpunk. It's my usual oh, slogan. Yeah. I think that's the comparison now. <laughs> oh yeah, that's it for me. Yeah. yeah. Me already went over your stuff. Um. Yeah. Uh. Good shit. So I guess one more time, kind of. I don't have anything else. Anybody else have anything else? I'm good to go here. No. Uh, right now. Yeah, uh, kind of go around the room, let everyone know where you can find you, and uh, um, any things, any plans for 2022. Jack, go with you again. Um, find me. Um, trying to get back into it. James, the lovely man over here. Uh, I appreciate you. I know he wants to do the co-stream of uh, Resident Evil 5. Bought me that's a nice little pretty Christmas gift, and I appreciate it. So we can do that. Um, that'll be coming at some point in time soon, hopefully. I still gotta still get, gotta get through Evil 3 and 4. Yeah, I gotta go through two, three, oh, and four. And two. That's right. Yeah, so um, still trying to figure that situation out. I just keep forgetting to stream, and I apologize to all whoever watch it. Uh, that should be try to going more on a path here later on. Uh, and that's uh, Jet three six two at twitch dot or twitch dot tv dot com. Twitch dot tv. Uh, yeah. And twitch dot technical view. Yes, and then uh, for the most part. Uh, also watching us play, which has become really popular ooh, more and more, is uh, some Deep Rock, definitely. Uh, and for games, what was the other secondary thing that I wanted to talk about? Terrible bot by memory, sorry. Um, <laughs> and hopefully we can beat It Takes Two at some point in time this year. God, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes they share, like, I like it. Um, you guys are like that the... couple. You're like that, like you've been married for so long. And you just keep nagging him that he's about building, like putting together those cabinets, putting up those cabinets that he's never going to do. Exactly. Just to add on to that, I just want to say one other thing that I'm actually excited for this 2022 goal because this this person that uh, who also is bad about getting things done, I'm supposed to be getting back into shape because he's doing a Spartan race by the end of this year. Uh, <laughs> Trying to go back to the gym for a month now. Yeah. Um, and. That's another thing the plan is to do in this year, but Holy yes, if you want to talk shit. about the husband and wife thing that fits in even Maury, more, is the fact Maury, that trying to get this Maury. motherfucker to... <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I'll pass that on to you, James. That's pretty much what oh. I'm planning for. Oh, here. God. Um, well, <laughs> hey, you, uh, I'm going to be streaming a lot more this year um, and uh, posting more regularly to YouTube. Um, you can find that stuff uh twitch.technicalview slash Jimmy Noodles GG and on the youtube.com slash or sorry https colon slash slash <laughs> www.youtube.com <laughs> slash Jimmy Noodles GG um yeah gonna be playing some more shit uh, all throughout the year a lot of stuff old stuff new stuff obscure stuff bad stuff good stuff uh another the plane killer yeah, um, another thing that I've been kind of working on in, in a little bit of secret. Um, I am going to be doing an entire retrospective slash analysis of every single Yakuza game ever made. And everything by mm. Ryu Gakotoku nice. Studios. I'm three pages into the script for Yakuza 0, haven't even gotten to the game yet. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like it's gonna be a wonderful book i've already asked a bunch of people hey do you want to help me write this and everyone's like no nah, man that's gonna take too long it's gonna be a while i have an i like just just idea i feel like this yakuza zero video is gonna be about three hours long it's gonna be a hefty boy <laughs> oh, it up with a little mini episodes there you go <clears throat> No, one big thing. <laughs> one big full analysis. The whole reason I wanted to do this, someone said I should. They're like, hey, you like Yakuza. Why don't you talk about Yakuza? I'm like, bad. I can talk about Yakuza yeah. all day. I can make an entire Not podcast too, yeah. about Yakuza. Um, but yeah. Whole, whole episode. So, yeah. No, whole podcast. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh, you can also find me on Twitter. At uh, Jimmy Noodles GG, um, I post. I've been tweeting out more regularly too, making fun of people who are into NFTs and stuff like that. You know, good old monkeys. 
Exactly. Those palette swaps. Did you know Eminem just bought an NFT? Oh god. Yeah, I fucking saw that. Yeah. Um, I think it was to make fun of something. Is what it, what I read. It does matter. He still bought an NFT. He did. He's that yeah. asshole. Walker, what about you? What are you gonna be? What are, What are your twenty twenty two plans? Uh, well, first, if you would like, you can find all my old stuff at the Cat and Geech on all the socials, except for Instagram. I changed that because I was gonna change it into a, like a fitness page. Um, that hasn't really worked out yet, but soon. Have no fitness. <laughs> um, <laughs> myself, keep playing Deep Rock because, like I said, I rather I rather enjoy that game. Eventually broaden my horizons plus start playing some other stuff i do need to beat um spider-man the spooderman's i'm pretty sure i'm almost i'm almost, I'm almost certain i'm almost done um i know i'm right on that right on that verge um i've almost been completed so that hopefully will come soon and then other games i guess it depends on what games actually come out um god of war um if that does come out obviously i'm have to buy a ps5 because i love those games um i don't know that i really don't know i kind of want to get into assassin's creed valhalla because they're releasing a dlc that's ironically called assassin's creed valhalla um ragnarok so wasn't i heard the recent one was fucking trash yeah, that's the what one I heard that crossed too. over Unity and Valhalla was atrocious. Yeah, I heard that. I heard the same thing that it wasn't good at all. Um, but not a whole lot. Probably just keep the same. Obviously, keep going with school, doing decent. So, expect my grade for my next paper tomorrow. Hopefully, it'll be good. So, continuing that, and like um, Jet said, uh, starting to get back in the shape. I'm actually looking at myself in the mirror right now. That's why you don't see me on screen. Rubbing my belly. We haven't seen you on screen like pretty much this entire <laughs> podcast. So, so it's okay. Definitely have to do that. I used to be able to take my arms and like one arm on my stomach, one arm on my back, and I could touch my elbows. I can no longer do that. <laughs> I have like a full arm in between my two arms now. But like uh, your, goal. your goal by the yeah. end of the year is to be able to touch your arms, your elbows. Um, I can't even like suck my stomach in to do it. Nope, didn't work. <laughs> so I'll say it again. That's your goal for the year is to be able to touch your elbows. Um, but yeah, that's about it. Uh, just keep doing new things, hopefully, and uh, keep doing the same thing at the same time. Make it fun. Uh, how about you, Mark? Um, who knows with me? But if uh, you're interested in seeing my content, you can see it at Twitch and YouTube at MarkDude701. Awesome. And as always, if you'd like to be a part of the Unlocked Nation, the Lockpick Nation, you can do so at the, the Level Unlocked Podcast dot podbean dot com. Uh, find us on Instagram as well as exclusively on Twitter at what James? LVL Unlocked Pod. That's LVL Unlocked Pod. And you can find our podcast anywhere podcasts are available. And you guys all have an amazing evening, amazing daytime, breakfast, lunch, dinner, wherever you're listening to this. And we will see you guys next time. I am. Fucker's stealing my outro. Had to. Y'all have a good one. Have good nights. Hey, have good. Have good.